I'm I don't have good feelings about. Like oh. they may be too hard. Well, that's the thing. We can always uh get away, right? Like supposedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly, maybe. Just you know, throw the dwarf in front of the bullets. Lee is on tabletop simulator. Like he's ready. Fine. I gotta grab my mini. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> you oh, yeah. you've also gotta grab your beer. Oh, I have. have I don't one. have any beer, but I have whiskey and cider. So. Well, I mean, either of those are acceptable. Ooh, just whiskey, cider. anything. That's right. Yeah, I mean, I don't discriminate. Anything. I'm getting my no, dice out here in no. front of me. Fuck me, Ronan. I didn't want to start the TTS tutorial. Oh yeah, I guess we're gonna join you, right, Jared? Yeah, you will have to join me in the tutorial. In the, in the tutorial. <laughs> A D16 or a D5 or any of that weird stuff? I mean, if, only if you want to, like, hold them. A D17? Mm. Hell yeah. No. <laughs> All the not, DC stuff. Not really. I hope this actually worked. I, I, don't, I don't know that it did. I think I only need three dice. What? Yeah. We're gonna... <laughs> well, what's, what's the healing potion? Is that 1D4? 1D8. Uh... Okay, so that went away. So I don't oh. know what happened there. That would be a good thing to buy. I did not buy any healing potions. Buy healing potions. Buy, oh, buy potions. <laughs> oh god. You did. You did <laughs> fucked up, eh, Ron? <laughs> I, I didn't spend a lot of time on purchasing things, so you, I will. You know what? Right, I, uh, I need so, you. Uh, wait. But, in here really quick. Okay. Uh, in this game. Uh, I got another Show buy. Me how to make this love. Is twenty yeah, arrows ahead. enough for a longbow? Or should I buy more arrows too? I mean, you know what they say, Lee. I no. You know, two, two is one and one is none. Hmm. So it didn't load. Is that what's going on? Yeah, I don't think I have my file in the right place. Did you? So I want to browse local files. Yeah, you'll need to. I think actually upload it. Maybe? Cloud it. Yeah, you have to cloud it. Well, I it. thought I did that, but obviously that didn't fucking work. Yeah, I think you have to cloud it. Okay, so I'm selecting this PNG. Uh -huh. Okay, and then I hit cloud. Right. And then where do I put it? The root folder on cloud? I upload? Imagine... Did it work? I don't see anything here yet. It didn't work. It said load image failed unsupported format, but it's obviously a fucking Oh, I see it. PNG. I see it now. It's here. It's okay, here. Just yeah, I see it now. That. I see it. Yeah. All right, good enough. All right, watch this move. Okay, watching. Shabam! You don't see any more, do you? Um, I still see it. It's on top of Fuck. it. Fuck. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> this is why we don't have nice things right here. How about now? Do you see it now? No, no, I see a big black square. That's what we needed. <laughs> uh, can you Put give me permissions? I want to make sure I have my yeah. dude. Let's see. Yeah, I will. Yeah. In just a second. Apparently, I don't remember how to do that. That's cool. I got it. I clicked your picture and it went to like your profile. I'm sure that was great. You get a right yeah, click on his name and give him. No, you have to left click his name. Hmm? Right clicking his name, as it turns out, uh, takes you to his profile. Oh, I thought right clicking on it would. Right clicking actually doesn't do jack shit. I just clicked the picture instead of his really? name. I guess oh, I need okay. to get him to the right scale, however big he needs to be for your five foot, whatever. Uh, yeah, we can scale them in a minute. It's no biggie. Like I said, I think uh, that's probably a little big. Yeah, I'll, I'll um, you know. I think what we will end up doing, and I'll talk about it a little bit after we play today, is we will probably migrate over to Roll20 because it's just way easier right. for me to like do anything that's indoors that is not like I reveal the whole map to you guys at once. Uh, right. Just sort of you just drawing it as we go along or something. Yeah, it's yeah. just a giant pain in the ass to do it any other way. Yeah, if I've got a if I've got a drawn on the table, you guys are going to be uh man, there's some disparity in those minis. I am a dwarf. <laughs> He's a dwarf. Is it a Lord of the Rings dwarf? It is. It is. Exciting. That's a drawer. Alright, I'm gonna go get another beer. Come on. I will be no, right back. He's not drawer. He's Thor Gold Iron Knuckle. Well, his name is Drawer on on I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Okay. It better be fixed by the time I get back. It's fixed now.
<laughs> you know what? I have to leave to like get back, so you have to let me. All right, Thor Gold Iron Knuckle. Thor Gold Iron Knuckle. Got it. I'll be right back. Feel small. <laughs> <laughs> If my beers are cold yet. I'm gonna give it another ten minutes. I want it to be premium cold. <laughs> premium cold. <laughs> <laughs> None of that deluxe cold bullshit. Yeah. No. Premium. Premium. Um, that's right. Do we know what size we actually need to be? Like what? We'll scale it when he shows the map. Okay. Cause that's probably it's probably about right for a dwarf next to you. Probably, yeah. All right. Do they have bases? I didn't uh, actually have a base. Yeah. So I think uh, what we normally do is we just take a. I think you can just take a yeah, like take a component or something, stick them on there, and attach it. Yeah. With the combine attach. Yeah. should have yeah you undo that somehow uh yeah okay i just wanted to shrink it first because wait what size are you we may not be the right size yeah, yeah. I, I was going off of that you can you can probably scale the whole thing though if you just put it on there and then yeah, I wanted to kind of get like a general similarity before right. doing it. Before That's doing what I was it. doing. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Lee, if you haven't yet, check your email. I sent you an email to, uh, with a link to a Google Sheet. Also, if anyone plans on playing The Last of Us, you should not read my character's backstory. Oh, no. I, yeah, I it know. It may or may not contain spoilers. <laughs> I, uh, I know oh. how that one goes. It's all bad, <laughs> basically. Yeah, got the sheet. I am. Okay, so question: You have perception DC in here? Mm-hmm. Um, is that on the character sheet the class DC? So that is your perception mod plus ten. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Class DC is something completely different. Which I off the top of my head couldn't fucking tell you. I'm not putting pluses on things because I don't agree with that. So, <laughs> I guess I am now. Oh no, the sheet doesn't like it, so I'm not putting pluses because I don't really care. Alright. <laughs> uh, this makes me happy. There will be numbers, you'll know what they mean. You gotta put them in parentheses if they're negative, are you doing an accountant style? Oh, good. You guys have all cool lore things. Now I actually have to do more because it's got a stupid apostrophe first, and I'll let you type whatever you want. I know that's what I'm doing, <laughs> but you don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. It's a waste of time. <laughs> my lore, my fucking time. My lore is in panic. <laughs> you guys have guild and warfare and stuff. Tanning. <laughs> well, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what lore and tanning can be. <clears throat> I mean, you just, you know, some things, like you see an animal and you look at its skin and you're like, I can tan it up nice. <laughs> I bet I could tan that. <laughs> I tan up real nice. I don't know. Hmm. John, I decided to jump back to my last big swell from Maui. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. They're so good. I'm trying to figure out like what exactly I can do with my warfare lore. I guess that means I know like tactics and like general. Uh, you would know like, you would know stuff like, 
um, you'd look at a war, you could be able to like look at a war camp and know if they didn't dig the latrine ditches far enough from the camp, right? Like, right, okay, things that you would know, like just warfare knowledge, right? Okay, like this hill seems like a good position to set up camp that for a you know, for a war camp or whatever, or right, what, you know, right, right, that sort of deal. That makes sense. You could also know stuff about previous wars. Oh, like history and stuff. Yeah. Like history of wars. Right. <clears throat> I have added my information to the sheet. It's all commented in, so it's completely useless if you try to do anything with it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, you don't agree with it. <laughs> Too fucking I, I'm a little salty about spreadsheets. I, I, I've got a spreadsheet that's got... And you guys, I know some of you guys may work with bigger spreadsheets, but I've got one that's like, I don't know how many columns, what's what's the alphabet times like four or five, and it's probably got like 10,000 lines. Oh god. And, and so I've been, I've just been, like everything went to shit in my department, like I, I sort of own the quality in a department now, and everything just went to shit in December, basically as soon as I started in the department. Didn't have anything to do with me, but then everybody wants answers, and I'm like, I don't even know what this department does, so here I am. With a spreadsheet that's got, you know, <laughs> but I got a hundred, a hundred columns and ten thousand lines. I'm trying to sort through, and make graphs, and like root cause some problems. And it's uh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I've been a little scarce, and I'm a little salty about spreadsheets. Yeah, I I've, a lot I've about, noticed that. I learned a lot about combining uh, different pages in spreadsheets and VLOOKUPs and like cutting up uh, strings. Spreadsheets and all kinds of fun stuff. So, wow. fun. No, uh, that is. That sounds exciting. So I didn't buy any health potions because of that. So let me let me see how much those cost. I bet you John can tell you. They are you four gold health... pieces each. Four gold pieces <laughs> each. I'm buying two. Goddamn it. I bought three because I don't need much in life as far as weapons. I've got both of them. I've got. Need much in life other than life. Okay. Well. Ooh, I should. I'm gonna buy one because that will leave me with only three silver if I buy two. So yeah, you never know when you're gonna have to bribe somebody or yeah. you know pay a hooker. I don't know. So what is that? It's a. Is it a major health potion? Or a it's potion? a minor. Minor. Ooh. It does one B. Healing. <laughs> buy it faster than I can. Let me go see how much arrows are gonna cost me, and I'll buy another round of arrows. One D eight, yeah, one D eight. They're pretty cheap. Yeah, I say arrows are real cheap. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just. <clears throat> I think I'm done with my sheets. So let me send this to you, Jerry. Okay. Yeah, I just throw it in the files thing, and I'll. Like I said, I haven't. I didn't take the time to look at any of them in detail. I glanced at them. But I've been. I might been chugging along. But mine is the one. So I kind of like the way that formats, but I'll have to like look at it for a while. Yeah, it takes a little bit to like kind of customize it. Um, and there's a couple of like more interesting things you can do with like the auto calculation. Right. But I just like the fact that it just kind of fills in all your feats and stuff for you. If you just like type in the name of the name, it just finds it. <laughs> we also have to give Tusi a hard time for Lee being here. We we're still early, early technically. Yeah. Oh, look, there he is. Oh, Speak of the devil. God, he's just smoking the name. I thought you heard it. <laughs> I did hear I did hear you. Uh, uh, popped in right as Jared said. Uh, we have to get to see over a time. That's funny. That's going to crack open. <laughs> I am like super ready. I'm gonna get my announcer voice on. Oh boy! As I like pack and cough. How do I, how do, I do this? Uh, this rule twenty nonsense. We're in TTS for right now, too. Oh okay. But we are gonna do roll twenty uh, before Sunday if we do Sunday, because it's just significantly easier okay. for me. Roll that it's free. It's, oh. it's just a free thing. You have to make an account. Okay. okay. Make an account. Maybe do the tutorial so you kind of half-ass understand it. 
I mean, literally all we're using it for, though, is here's the map, and we're going to move little tokens around on it. Okay. Like, there's a ton of robust, like, just tools and things and character sheets and interactions you can do and rolling dice in it. And we're just going to, like, use the simplest thing that you could possibly do. Okay. Share a screen and, and move tokens. Ooh. This is locally grown yuzu and Buddha's hand citron. Look at that. It's totally on brand. I didn't even read that. Totally on brand with the mug, Bell Buddha's hand. That's right. Hold on. I gotta go get some dice. Fancy. It's custom handmade. Dice. Custom dice. Oh, it only holds 20s. Jared, you I put just them. look at it. Put some thought in those custom dice, and I think I'm gonna buy the molds so we can make some of those spaghettio dice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so down. Okay, also, speaking of dice and buying things, so I'm really mad that, like, not super, super mad. I finally found the, all those dice trays, like the one just like I have that everybody kind of likes but can't get for oh, whatever yeah. reason. Yeah, I found them. And I, yeah, and that's what I got everybody for Christmas. Oh. But they are, uh, they are being very slow in production because of COVID. They oh, have not yeah. even cut them yet. I mean, so just FYI, I, I was feeling very generous, and I bought everybody a dice tray, and I bought nice. myself like four more because I wanted one for every player at the game table. I very much appreciate that. I have not completed oh, you're... my shopping. Oh, that's you're you're quite welcome. That's a, uh, I just I was on it and I was like, you know, the shipping is literally like two dollars more if I just buy several of these and then <laughs> everybody can have one. Yeah, no, they're nice. Those and, are those and, are good trays. Yeah, they were they were really they were really inexpensive. Like I looked at them and I was like, huh, those are they're super inexpensive uh, and it'll be something good that everybody I know will use. That's true. Because yeah. it fucking bothers me when Eric knocks over shit in Blood Bowl with dice. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's not gonna use a dice tray. You just, you just need to accept that. that he's just not gonna. I got him. I bought him a dice tray. He's gotta use it. Uh, let's see. Here, let me see one of these minis. I can tell you what, which one of your sizes is closest to, right? Did somebody put a random dude in the middle of the table to lose him? Lost him in the fog? That might be mine. Might, might be mine too. It was unintentional. So this one's a little load, too big. I loaded one in. Okay, so uh, Thor Gold Iron Knuckle is like a smidgen too big. Let me size them the right size. Everybody else will be too big. Oh, you got one of them animated ones. Ooh. Not damn. Oh. Okay. Yeah, there's fog of war, so careful. <laughs> There you go. I think Thorgold's about the right size now. If everybody wants to. No, you, you do know that Thorgold's a dwarf, right? So he's going to be a little shorter than everybody else. You also well, have to act like with him outside the fog of war. He's outside of fog of war. He's over here. No, he isn't. Oh, now he is. He, he no, was no. not. He totally was on my screen. He was way outside of it. Well, we couldn't see him. <clears throat> I don't, don't Yeah. Are you trying to make I, a base inside? Yeah. I, I'd say flipping him is a good idea. Nobody flips a door. That's, that's exactly right. Oh boy. Wait, what, what, what? Where'd it go? It's there. Did you, did you it's have it. a Jedi with a stick? I could pick one of the game objects things from, uh. Someone give um, me back the. Uh, whatever. Dude, if you give that guy a lightsaber, he's totally on brand. Oh, okay. Yeah. The heroes. I think you can make him fight. But I'm not uh, really sure you can you do it. a little bit bigger. Attack. You just right click him and you can attack and. Huh? <laughs> 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 Alright, is everybody okay. in the and ready to go? I'm just gonna do that a lot. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what is that? What is hey, do just, just die. Is this a wolf? It's a bar guest. That's a wolf now. Well, there's a wolf too. You want the wolf? There's the wolf. Have a wolf. I, just, I was just checking them out. These are all in the uh, uh the RPG into, minis. Yeah, if you go in the components the RPG, you can get them. Yeah, I saw them the other day. I was 
I was looking at them and just was like, eh, whatever. <laughs> I used a couple. We don't have just a ton of stuff in this first bit. There's a lot of me talking at the beginning and you guys asking some questions. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if I can clear my throat a lot. I, uh, my allergies kicked up today. I had a just fucking sneeze all morning. I don't uh, know why. It was fun. All right. Really blast. Oh, it was great. Has everybody got a uh, got a drink and they're ready to fucking go? Yeah. Drink yes. sounds like a good idea. So we're waiting on Greg to get a drink. What I, I mean, I have my. Uh, you can go. While uh, while we're waiting on Greg to get a drink. Uh, uh, check your email and get in the Google Sheet. I saw the email, but then. He saw the email and ignored it, so he's like, fuck that guy. Like, yeah, but if it's important, he'll tell me about it. Yep. It's a fact. I am back. So, I don't need that stuff right away, TZ. You can fill it in as you go. Um, like, as we're talking about other stuff, so... Okay, so I don't know who read the intro and who didn't, so I'm just going to start with that. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go, guys. Uh, the late afternoon sun bears down upon you, the same sun that you've endured for the last four weeks as you've journeyed east into the frontier. You, along with a small group of others, are traveling to a small village named Shadows Fall. It was recently established well beyond the edge of the civilized world as you know it. You're part of is the second wave of settlers sent from this kingdom of Canadian. Led by the wiry human merchant Jenkins, the caravan contains all sorts loggers, miners, craftsmen, caravan guards, drifters, and even waifs and criminals looking to escape and start over with a new life. No matter your previous circumstances, Shadows Fall represents a new life away from everything you've ever known. Shaking yourself from your internal musings, you see what you've been waiting for over the long weeks of travel. An unimpressive collection of wooden buildings that will be the center of your new life. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so you guys, uh, the caravan continues to roll toward town. Uh, and as the caravan rolls into the small town, a collection of people gather to greet you. An imposing man steps forward and says, Welcome to Shadows Fall. I'm Bannon, the mayor of our small village. This is Gil, our carpenter. He motions to a tall human to his left. Keldor, the best smith to be found for miles around. A dwarven man on his right snickers and spits off to his side. And Rhea, our village healer and spiritual advisor. I know your journey has been long, so I will not keep you. I will not keep you on your feet any longer than necessary. Gil will show you where to unload the wagons, and Rhea will prepare bunks for you, in the, you all in the longhouse. Our accommodations are meager, but as our fellow villagers, they are now yours. After you've had a chance to settle in, come to our mess hall for a meal, and I can meet you all more formally. What were their names again? <clears throat> uh, Bannon was the mayor, B-A-N-N-O-N. Mayor. Uh, Keldor was the Dwarven Smith. Uh, Gil was the Carpenter. <laughs> and Rhea was the Village Healer and Spiritual Advisor. Healer and what? Hey, any of you... Go ahead, Greg. Healer and what? Spiritual advisor. Oh. He's a priesty bits. Cool, cool. Anybody have anything before you follow Gil in to unload the wagons? I don't have anything. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty solemn. I have my head down, just kind of following uh, following people. Right. Fucking... All right, so um, as you follow Gil, the small town, you notice the small town sits to the southwest of a large lake that feeds a westward running river via an enormous waterfall at the northeastern side. Uh, a small collection of, uh, a collection of small but well-made buildings are arrayed in front of you. Uh, as you're escorted through town, Gil points out the blacksmith's workshop, uh, the longhouse where you'll be staying with its attached mess hall, 
for general dining. Uh, Rey is home, which doubles as both a ward for the sick and injured and the beginnings of a temple. And most importantly, as Gil says, the tavern. Uh, as you work your way north through town, you also notice some docks at the edge of the lake with several accompanying fishing boats. Uh, coming around the edge of the mess hall, Gil points out the town hall and finally his warehouse and construction yard. Uh, he directs you to the warehouse and says to get the general supplies stacked in there and he can sort them uh, further in the morning. He knows you're all tired. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just start moving flies over to the, the warehouse and whatnot. Okay. Anybody, anybody else? No, I'm just going to join him doing that. That is also what I said. Okay. Lay you anything fancy or you're just going to unload stuff? Yeah, I'm just going to load stuff. Okay, so after about uh, half an hour to 45 minutes of work, uh, you've all... You've all realized that uh, you're you're pretty exhausted from the day's travel, uh, but everything is done. Uh, the wagons are unloaded, and you're ready to go to the mess hall. So, uh, Gil Gil waves you waves you back toward the mess hall and says, you know, he'll eat later. Uh, as you enter the mess hall, you'll find a, a large female half orc ladling something that resembles soup from a large cauldron onto the plates of a line of your fellow. Uh, travelers and caravaneers so after you all uh, get your get your bowl of soup like substance uh, and settle in to eat your meal you see Bannon approaching you and he introduces himself again and asks for your name uh, who wants to go first uh, I'll go first uh, so I will He nods, looks at uh, looks at the next in line, line the burly dwarf. Uh, I'm Thorgold. I don't know. A dwarf hunter. Not many dwarves and not many dwarves in these parts, but uh, I'm sure you'll get along you'll get along finely with the few of your kin that are here. Nice. Where's the drink? Ah, he said you'll you'll find a you'll you'll find a few ales uh you'll find a few ales off the side over there. I think they I think we've tapped a cask for the occasion of your arrival. All right, well, I'm gonna get up and go get a drink. I step forward and say, uh, my name is not important, but you may call me the Frozen One. The what? <laughs> the Frozen One. Uh, he eyes he eyes you up and down and asks. Uh, Asks, do you and he says, I, I don't know of anyone without a name. Uh, Where I come from, it is very cold. Do you intend to bring One... trouble to this small town? No trouble, no trouble. One day you will have a name. One day but, you will have But for now, this is good enough. I will join the short man for this, getting a drink. Okay. Sin will sort of eye him <laughs> as he walks I the frozen. Eye <laughs> the frozen wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Lastly, he looks, looks at, yep, he looks at you. Uh, I'm not talking in a girl voice, but I'm Ellie. Uh, do you know the, anything about the, the wolf bullshit. bandits? The what bandits? The wolven bandits. The wolven bandits. I heard uh, they're no, out near these parts. Uh, no, I, I haven't heard anything about these bandits yet, and hopefully we won't have to. We have enough troubles as it is. Uh, without bandits, uh, so far there have there's been no uh, no evidence of other uh, other humankind in this area. Uh, Sin will and he after. Yeah. Oh, go like, ahead. Uh, Sin would look up and be like, "What have you seen?" Well, he he said though, he says it's nice to he says it's nice to formally meet all of you and and uh, obviously. As you ask such questions, uh, you carry yourself with the, the demeanor of adventurers. I don't know who you were before, but 
it's very clear that in the coming days, Shadows Fall is going to need people like you. Uh, he says, I'm, I'm very certain of it. He says, uh, the things I've seen, the things I've seen out here uh, make it very difficult, uh, make it very difficult to expand as a village. I barely have enough fighters to keep the village patrolled and safe. And uh, he shakes himself and he says, I, I hate to turn the town business so soon after your arrival, but there is quite a bit you can do. There seems to be so little rest from duty here. He says, though I'm, I'm sure all your other caravaneers can find their place in day-to-day -day life, I'd like you to look, I'd like you, your group, to look into some things for me. Hopefully keep this place safe. He says, firstly, Havel, the half-elf who manages our farm, has been complaining about missing sheep. He says, it seems like a, it seems like a minor issue, but without those sheep, uh, we, we have no, we're going to have no wool uh, to harvest in the winter and to keep us all warm, uh, let alone let alone the meat uh, that they will they'll provide. He said, also, our foresters have stopped logging in the east of town due to a recent goblin attack. Uh, Gorm, the head logger, took an arrow two days ago and is still laid up in Reyes care. Poison of some sort, I suspect. He said, if that's not enough, among what seem like hundreds of other problems in this logistical nightmare, Keldor keeps reminding me that we have no source of ore of our own. Uh, the supplies from your caravan will hold us over for a time, but not forever. Uh, if you find anything while you're out exploring, it would be a huge boon. And if you're not overwhelmed, I'm sure others in the town all have needs of their own. At, at the mention of ore, I'm going to I, I smack the uh, the dwarf in the back, Thorvald in the back. But you can find us some more. <laughs> well, you'd be right. I'm a rock dwarf. Keep an eye out as we keep adventuring. I'm sure Keldor will be pleased. Uh, he complains daily that uh, a smith of his expertise is wasted on uh, on the little little scraps of mild steel that we brought that we brought to this village. All right. I so said I for one would am interested in searching for some more make some better weapons than this measly wooden staff. I kinda He says, well he says when we when we came this way, uh Keldor, Keldor saw the mountains to the to the northeast. Uh, after we picked this place on the on the large lake at the edge of the forest, uh, we thought that there could potentially be ore in the in the hills. Uh, but we like I said earlier, we don't have the, the manpower to go searching. Especially with goblins on the border. Especially with goblins. Should we take care of the goblins first? I kind of look towards everybody else. Uh, who wants to go fight a goblin? <laughs> Sounds like we need to clear the goblins out before we open the door. I have been mighty bored on, on my on, on this journey. There's been no fighting. There's been no fun. Uh, I'm up for the fun and trouble and fucking up some goblins. I'm always ready to kill a goblin or two. Has been a good long while since I've blown anything up. So I start kind of strutting over towards the uh, towards the carpenters and the construction yard, seeing if I can find who, uh, which forester can put me in the direction of the goblins. So uh, we just so. strut on out. Uh, oh yeah, we're, we're moving. It's uh, gotcha. So Bannon kind of looks at he, he kind of looks at the frozen one uh, as he leaves and says, "Is he all right?" In the head. <laughs> I. I Turn around and just kind of give him never better. Yeah, he he strides. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck is it? Admirable. Bannon shakes his head. He says, obviously, you all are adventurers. He says, well, he says, I'll leave you to it. Uh, try to get some rest tonight and, and speak to uh, speak to people in the morning. I'm sure they've, uh, I'm sure Gil has turned in. He, he had a long day. Uh, making sure the longhouse is ready for y'all. Uh, he says, but if you need anything, come find me at the town hall. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to introduce myself to the rest of your uh, travel-weary caravaneers. So Bannon wanders off and uh, leaves you to the rest of your meal. Um, and 
as, as you eat, Rhea comes by and, and directs you to your box. She says, there's a trunk at the end of the beds. Uh, you're welcome to put any any possessions you have in it. Um, and, and so there's a lock on it, and you'll find the key. You'll find the key inside. Uh, obviously, the lock's not locked. She says, that's the, the best we can provide you for now. Um, until our foresters start working again, uh, individual homes are, individual homes are a, uh, a dream that we may have. So as you guys finish up your meal, um, you you feel the day, the day wearing on you quite a bit. Uh, if there's nothing else that you want to do this evening, uh, it is it is getting late. You can, you're welcome to go to bed. Uh, I kind of look at the dwarf and say, one drink? Uh, I think we should have a drink. Let's go to the well, tavern. So you two, you two trundle off of the tavern after you, you've tasted a little bit of cask ale that was brought out for the occasion. Uh, sadly, you've, you and the other caravaneers have quickly drank that dry. Uh, so you go, you, you find yourself uh, a few doors down. Uh, uh, just a healthy stumbling distance away into the tavern. What are the, the rest of you guys doing? John, Greg? I'll head to bed early. <laughs> okay, Greg's <laughs> going to bed. Yeah, I'll John? Head, I'm going to head back to the, uh, the bunk, but, you know, just sort of uh, when I get there, like, you know, meditate for a little bit, but eventually turn in early. Do monk things, got it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, you, so the two of you that went to the tavern, uh, you approach the tavern and, and you see just a startling constructed building uh, that, that has a small sign hanging out front, uh, and the the only thing on the sign is a large tankard of foaming ale that uh, swings swings just slightly in the breeze. You walk inside and you see uh, a typical what you would call a typical tavern uh, for a small town like this. There's probably uh, there's probably a dozen tables and a long bar. Uh, with, with about 20 seats, 20 big bar stools. Uh, there's a few locals inside drinking. The ones that didn't come out to the uh, to the mess hall tonight, uh, probably about eight or ten people inside. And behind the behind the bar, to your great relief, there's a large, large round bartender with a huge mustache. Because everyone knows that that all bartenders should be fat uh, and love their facial hair. But you're not wrong. Go up to the bar and get a drink. Yeah, I'm gonna wander in and I'm gonna try to use some diplomacy to uh, get me a free drink and Thorgold a free drink. Okay, go ahead. Saying that we're kind of walking in all boasting, like you know we're gonna help kill these goblins and take care of it. We ought to deserve a free drink for it. Here we go. Oh. We got seven. It. So we got a, like we got a fourteen total. Fourteen total. Yeah. The bartender kind of leans back and looks at you. He goes, you must be new in town. He says, I don't think I've seen anyone this loud since Keldor got in a rage uh, uh, after he, uh, after someone broke one of his fine hatchets he made. Sounds like it wasn't very fine. Uh, so I kind of laugh and take out uh, and ask how much, how much for two drinks. He said, he, he laughs. He says, ah, he goes, I enjoy new faces and new stories. The first round's on me. After that, it'll be it'll be five coppers and ale. And he uh, he goes, he turns around and pours two big foaming mugs and slides them down the bar to you. He says, "So I've I've shown you I've shown you the hospitality and a free drink." He says, "What do you, what do you know this fine evening?" He says, "Tell me of civilization. Uh, have they forgotten us?" I know nothing of civilization. I myself have been long stranded out in the mountains. Uh, so this is as civilized as I've seen in a city in a long Me too. I, I wandered the wilderness as a, as a hunter and a ranger. And, you know, as the forests were chopped down, I was pushed further and further this way. So uh, I don't know anything of the city either. I'm sorry. Uh... He says, well, I could hope. He said, I could hope. I miss the bustling crowds, uh, keeping my tavern full, and the bards. God, I miss the bards. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good song? 
Uh, he says, but he says, but you two sound like you'll fit in just fine here. Are there any lumberjacks around the bar? He says, ah, the, he says, the lumberjacks have uh, likely turned in early. It's it's been a rough it's been a rough couple days for them, not knowing whether or not Gorm will pull through. Uh, he's he's been at shit at Ray's shack for the last two days. Uh, though it looks like he'll make it. Uh, he, he's on the mend now. But Reyes doesn't seem to want to let him out of her care. That piques my interest. Uh, I, I lean over to Thorgold and, and, and say that we should we should take a look at him tomorrow morning. Something doesn't set right. For sure. But at this point, I just continue to drink. Ask the bartender uh, who, who, who at this bar causes trouble. Just kind of eyeing the whole place, taking a look at and uh, soaking it all in. He looks up and he says, Well, he says, usually our fishermen are the biggest trouble, but lately they've been they've been rather subdued, uh, even skittish. Uh, Tell me more. He says, Well, there's a bunch of hogs wallop. They, they've They've been telling stories of hearing songs on the water, uh, and they won't fish as far north as they had in the past. So there's, they claim to hear eerie chanting, uh, and it sounds to me like they're, they just don't want to sail as far for the same fish. Yeah, at this point, I just kind of start chatting uh, with no real goal in mind, uh, just to, just talking to them. Gotcha. I'm going to finish off my drink and buy another round. Okay. Uh, I'd toss it. Okay, mark them off. Plan was only to have one, but... Uh, What's that? Plan was only to have one, but you convinced me. Okay, so you guys both have another ale and... And you, uh, you're chatting anybody in particular, any topic or anybody in particular you're going to chat with or just kind of making yourself known to the locals? I think it's the latter, making myself known to the locals. Well, it all seems to go well. They, uh, they give you a couple of, you know, good-hearted jabs about, uh, about having another of the sh- uh, have another uh, adventure and wild man in town, and they poke some fun at you as well, pulling you for another of the the uh, the fairer, shorter folk. Uh, sure that Keldor will love the company. I'm sorry, I may have came just a second. <laughs> well, Lee got hammered once another round. his drink. At this point, I, I, I pat the dwarf on the back. Well, since Lee's AFK, we will assume that you lead him back to the... Uh... All right. I can lead a drunken drunk dwarf back to his uh, back to his home. I will assume you lead him back to the, uh, the cots. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, so everything seems well constructed as far as the buildings go, uh, but there are not really fortifications. Um, it's definitely still there was there were uh, you noticed there was a patrol that walked around, uh, but you know they looked more like farmers with spears uh, kind of look. You know it's it's village people in village people in leather armor with spears, and, and you notice that they're uh, everyone's. It seems like they're just trying to get set up as a town. They have the they have the needed buildings and everything's well constructed. It's good, kind of good bones of a village. But, but they don't have uh, like for, any like for, defensive structures or like out, like they don't have like fortifications necessarily. Like they have like, no, no, they do not. They have the the bare bones necessities. Okay, okay. I'll uh, keep that in mind as I'm, uh, you know, as I head to the bun, sort of thinking about like. Is there yep. a way that and the the long there? house. Yep, and the longhouse is actually attached to the mess, too, so you don't even have to go outside. There's just the door. Oh, nice. Okay. Sick. I 
back. Sorry about that. My six-year-old was uh, going to bed. She's she's got a bunch of new stuff because it's her birthday and she wouldn't tell me about it. So I couldn't yeah. listen. That's <laughs> yeah. You guys yeah. 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 We just we ascertained that you just uh, when you just had another round on one of the uh, on one of the bar patrons, you got hammered and went to sleep. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Normal Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> so, anyways, all right, guys. So you guys have all turned in. Uh, Lee and Two C. I will need a fort save. We'll see how hungover you are. Boy, uh, got an eleven. Okay. I rolled. Oh, that's a one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's, it's uh... <laughs> Seven total, if that matters. Uh, so that, so that, that, uh, as it turns out, is a critical failure. So two, so you're gonna take a, uh, you're gonna take a minus one to any, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you're gonna take a minus two to any intelligence related skills. Uh, for the first, for the first, uh, we'll say six hours of the day. Just can't seem to focus. You got a little bit of a, a fog from last night's drinking. Uh, the long the long weeks on the road uh, must have dulled your tolerance a little bit. Lee, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Lee's got the Lee's got the constitution of a dwarf. He he wakes up uh, wakes up early, ready for the day. So nothing, nothing untoward happens at night. You guys get as the, one of the best rests you've had in, in weeks uh, since you've been sleeping on the road, despite the fact that you've got some kind of uh, bare bones cots uh, and you've slept in a room with another, uh, with another several people. So where are you going to go? What are you going to do this morning? Let's over to Reyes to see the uh, the injured lumberjack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's the plan okay <clears throat> so you go over and uh, uh, you see Rhea outside uh, you, you seem to have caught her praying uh, outside to the sun uh, and she sees you and says oh well, well Matt you, you came in with the caravan last night and, so, and she says that uh, Bannon uh, Bannon told her that, that you may be adventurer sorts uh, and maybe coming to speak with, maybe coming to speak with one of her patients today. Yeah, we were talking to you about the, uh, the goblin attacks. She says, "Well, it'll be right this way." She leads you inside, and uh, off to the side, there's a, uh, a secluded room. And she says, "He's been doing very well, and, uh, and in just about another day or so, I'll release him once once I'm sure this arrow wound will stay closed." Uh, so she leads you inside. You see a large, see a large human. He's got a blocky face and uh, he's bald with a big red beard, uh, lying in the bed, he's in, in lying in a cot in her uh, in one of her, in her rooms. And he's got a big wad of bandages wrapped around his torso. Uh, and at the back, you can see even lying, even kind of lying on his side as he is, you can see the bandages are visibly discolored by pus and poultices. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk over and give him a medicine check. Yeah, I was gonna say recall knowledge or whatever. <clears throat> uh, okay, give me a second. You got that. You got medicine. Did I put medicine in here? I look, I did. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm at 10. Jesus. I, I got it. So not very wise. This is this is these are my checks for you guys because on recall knowledge and like when you're trying to figure stuff out, it doesn't want you to know if you figured it out or not. Oh, interesting. True, true. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, um, so you both confer and compare notes, and uh, to see you are uh, you are certain that that this guy has been shot with an arrow. Uh, and that you're pretty sure he's been poisoned as well. And as you're uh, as you're looking about, you know they, he gives you kind of a kind of a confused look. That uh, 
you know, these strangers have just walked in and started prodding his bandages. Um, but he doesn't say anything, and Greg, is, as as uh, as Tusi's pulling the bandages back a little bit, uh, you actually can tell that he's been poisoned with a fairly common poison. Um, and it is... Drum roll. Giant centipede poison. Uh, you're damn right. It's giant centipede poison. I am a toxicologist, <laughs> after all. Yeah, it's a it's a giant centipede venom. That's what he's been poisoned by. And uh, and you see that that uh, the the venom has probably caused the wound to stay ragged and open for uh, for a little bit longer than it normally would have, even with some healing potions uh, <laughs> or healing that Ray has no doubt provided. And at this point, Gorm, Gorm raises his head and says, Will you stop poking at me? He says, I don't, I don't know you, Norm. You bought me a drink first. I, I, I kind of just look at Gorm and just say, Well, friend, once you get out of here, we can, we can run it. He says, And I'll be glad to. He says, As much as I appreciate Le- Rhea's healing uh, and her kind ministrations, I'm ready to get back behind the axe. So quickly, even after the goblin attack? He says, goblins, cowardly beasts. He says, shot me in the back as I was on my way back to uh, back to the rest of the lumberjacks. That checks out. That does. I kind of look to Rhea and say, was there anything that you noticed about the, the wound or the poison that was on? Uh, no, she, uh, by the time he got in, he had already passed out, uh, likely from the pain or the poison. He scoffs. He says, "He says, sneaky bastards." He says, "Had they not poisoned, had they not poisoned me, I'd have cut them all down with my axe." Obviously, uh, Rhea, you know, scrunches up her face a little bit and says, "You're lucky you made it back here alive, and you can thank the rest of the rest of your team for that." Had they not dragged you out of there, I'm sure you'd be in a goblin uh, in a goblin camp or cook pot at this point. How many did you run into? He says, "Ah, he says honestly." He says, "As much as I boast, I I don't know. I was uh, marking trees for the rest of the lumberjacks, and it got separated from my party, uh, marking them for the next couple of days of of work, and." Uh, as it started to get dark, I, I started to walk back toward the rest of the team, and uh, the next thing I know, I felt a large uh, just a pain in my back. Uh, I was knocked to the ground by an arrow. He, was, he says, I managed to get up and, and, and yell for help and start scrambling back to the west, uh, and the next thing I knew, I, I heard running footsteps of, of my friends and then passed out, and they must have carried me back to town. He says, I guess I was. Ellie pats him on the back and says, don't worry, we'll buy you a drink later. Gotcha. All right. Well, time to wander into the forest, I guess. And I kind of look around at everybody. Does anyone have a plan? I say we found the dwarf in first. I'd like to prepare my Gorm bombs pipes and up poisons. And, well, Gorm pipes up and says, "He says if you're going, if you're going looking for goblins, he says we were working just east of the village at the edge of the tree line. I was maybe a mile deep, uh, marking trees for the next few days." All right. The east. Anybody want to do anything else while you're in town? We'll prepare my daily infusions if I haven't already. I just get four infusions and then I can make bombs and shit. Not about the infusions. I got some stuff in the wrong file type. Give me just. Um, I guess what do I know about necessarily like how goblins like I know they have like a that they're like in a camp and whatnot, but like, what would I know about like maybe like their fighting tactics or like where they like to necessarily maybe hold up 
you know, like if I any idea about where they might logically, you know, have a camp. Uh, give me a here. I got it. We'll just do this. Uh, you have you, you recall that goblins goblins typically form warrens in the forest uh, and small small camps close enough to. Uh, close enough to other civilized like uh, settlements and or trade routes that they can harass them and steal goods. Okay. Yeah, that they're more of a more of a nuisance than anything else. Right. So let's see. I can fix this file type stuff. Doop to doop to doop. Well, they should they should be like close to obviously wherever they were harassing at because they won't go yeah. too far off of the wherever they're from okay allegedly allegedly all right john i got a question for you if i've got a pdf yeah and i want it to be a png or a jpeg pdf to png uh, can you save snip it, it and save it as a jpeg yeah maybe just snip it that'll probably be the fastest most Efficient way that's what I'm thinking. You can do it in Bluebeam, but I don't. I doubt you're working. I, Bluebeam. I'm not on my work computer. Unfortunate. That's fine. Should be okie day. I just need to do one file. I didn't realize that I couldn't pull a PDF into one of the, into TTS. I can in the other, I can in the other software. The, uh, bunch of a doodle. Pro. Yeah. Or, uh, roll 20. That's the one. Okay, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm just set up and over that direction. Um, just keep actively looking for goblins and trees. I don't know if John learned anything about goblins. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would, I would tell you guys, the, you know, the general knowledge that I had about, like, you know, how they operate at least. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I imagine I'd be up there in the future, like, as we're moving through. Uh, oh, man, that worked pretty well. turns out, as you move east from town, you can see where the lumberjacks have been working. Uh, it's pretty clear that there's trees that have been cut down. Uh, and you follow, you actually can pick up Gorm's blood trail. Uh, you follow his blood trail back uh, to a property the ambush site, and you can see the trees that he's marked. Uh, you can see the trees that he's marked in the area for future, uh, for future use. Uh, and as you're going through the area, you can actually see you can actually see signs of the goblins uh, that have hidden bushes and trees, uh, and that had shot at him a little farther, a little deeper into the forest. Um, you take you take some time you take some time to examine the tracks, and you're pretty sure that you can tell which direction they went. Which way did they go? Well, I'd like to survey wildlife um, so I can study the details in the wilderness and determine the presence of nearby creatures. I spent 10 minutes assessing the area around me to find out what creatures are nearby based on nests, scats, and marks on vegetation. Okay, so you notice that, uh, that this survival area... Quick. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, take a survival for it, but you immediately notice that this area uh, once had creatures, um, larger creatures, you know, possibly deer or boar uh, in the area, and they have since, uh, they've since 
moved out of the area. There's no recent sign, and you, you attribute that to the, uh, the loggers uh, likely driving some of the wildlife away from this area. You also can, can see the same sign in the Goblin and John's Point. We got an 18. Uh, yep, but you think the goblins, uh, you think that the goblins haven't been there for some time. Like I said, you're pretty sure you can tell which way they went. Looking around and see everybody else kind of look at the woods, I think I'm going to try to be cool and also look at. You know. I got a, I got a nine. Yep, you see the trees. Uh, trying to fit in. Just kind of, I, 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 don't, I don't let anybody else in on the fact that I don't know shit. I'm just kind of looking around. Just, uh, yes, of course. I'm just going to kind of raise an eyebrow and just, yes, of course, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> they don't fit the shoe fits. Okay, so what are you guys up to? Do we want to follow the trail? <clears throat> Ignore the little pathways, it's all grass. It's all just forest. Uh, you guys are going to come from over here. Fish. So go ahead and put yourself in marching order. Uh, as you're tracking, uh, John, you notice that uh, the trail's a lot fresher. It's more, beat it's more beaten up. Uh, but there's definitely been some more recent traffic. Uh, and as you start to look around, you can actually see a uh, goblin sitting on this lawn. He's a little small. Goblins are small. That's, that's a little better. Alright, you see a goblin sitting on this lawn, uh, kind of swinging his feet. He's kind of swinging his feet and he, he yells out. He yells out and he says, E! He says, more humans. And you see a goblin jump up from over here as well. Uh, go ahead and roll me perception for initiative. I'd like to yell back that I'm not a human. I speak goblin, so in goblin. Okay. Uh, I listen in. I also speak the goblin. Go the goblin kicking his feet on the the goblin kicking his feet on the log yells back. He, go, he yells back. Yeah, but you're even uglier. <laughs> All right. Get my longbow ready. Go ahead and fill it in on. Go ahead and fill it in on the initiative tab. And you can it on my so is, is this just your roll, or do we also have our perception for this? Your roll plus perception. Okay. So roll the nineteen. Got it. Do we need bonus? I guess. We need bonus. <laughs> Excuse me. And you're, yeah, if you're trained or whatever, too. We want that. I guess I uh, No, I mean, like, just put your total in there and make sure you add your training bonus and shit, too. Like, yeah, I got like, you still got like a 50. I guess I should find these problems in the book. I just didn't know where you were supposed to. Oh, initiative tracker. <laughs> That's the one. Nice. Hell yeah, there's tabs. As it turns out. There are tabs and reasons. Well, while you're doing this, I'm going to quickly grab another beer. Okay.
that was not a GP one. That was supposed to be a dumb one. Come on, you bastard. I found that sometimes Google Sheets is a little weird. Yeah, they like. like to see you are up uh, so there's one goblin uh, uh, shit, I have to swear. I'm to... how far away am I from this turn 44 <laughs> inches <laughs> exactly yeah it's not helpful that's why I want to switch to the other as well which, where are you? Which one are you? The fancy one. Eight. Yeah, uh, roughly 80 away. away. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And the you trees too, are trees on here, right? Like... Yep, the trees are trees. Okay, okay. Barely, I can barely see. Uh, uh, We're talking like 80-ish feet, give or take. Yep, about 80 feet. I'd say you can probably see him to the end. I just don't know the range of my spells, quite frankly. Uh, uh, about 48 inches. Yeah. So, all right. I'm just going to kind of react quickly and uh, ray of frost uh, the one on the log. Roger that. Go for it. Uh, uh, and so, our let's uh, 1d4 plus spell casting ability. Word for Sparta. 14. Mm, that's against armor class? Uh, actually, it's a good point. <laughs> yeah, it's spell attack roll. So, Negative. Uh, Alright. Do it. Does not cut it. I'm just gonna look at uh, at John uh, since he called me. Uh, I forget what he called me, uh, but I'm Ice gonna cable. give him a wink. Ice yeah, cable. I'm gonna give him a wink, uh, and then I'm gonna kind of uh, <laughs> run forward. Uh, so. Oh, Ice Cube. That was six. Yeah. Gonna run forward and kind of just duck by. Into the bushes, like I'm taking cover. You want to take the take cover action? No. You can't lean into it like no. I take because that was that was that was full three for me. The... Raise was two. It? Oh, raise two. Got it. Most most of the spells are two. That's that makes sense because you can't double cast in a turn. All right, uh, Lee. You can. So you can you get three actions. So I thought it was two. You can bring it free. It's nope. Three. You get three. Oh, I love this. All right. So, <laughs> move, move, move. So, no. Uh, is he playing guard? Is he playing? He must be playing guard. Move, move, move. Uh, I'm just trying to. I'm going to move up to where Chusey was. Okay. And I'm going to use um, need some hunter nonsense. I've got this thing called Hunt Prey. So, I designate a single creature as my prey and focus my attacks on that creature. Must be able okay. to see or hear the prey. Um, I get a plus two circumstance on perception. Um, perception it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I would get yeah circumstance bonus on perception checks or survival checks against it if I'm trying to track it. Um, okay. I also ignore the penalty for making ranged attacks um, within my second range increment against the prey I'm hunting. So my range okay. is a hundred. Uh, feet, and I figured it up, and he is well within. Yeah, well within. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so the whole board might be in. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> my third, my third action is to use um, hunted shot. I make two. It's one action, but I make two quick shots against the one I hunt. Um, okay. If both hit the same creature, combine their damage for the purpose of resistances and weaknesses. 
Uh, and I have the multiple attack penalty, which is reduced for my guy. Okay. Uh, it's a minus three for my second attack. Right so my first Slide. attack. Yep. So I'll do two attacks. Uh, first attack is a uh, 22. That'll do oh. it. Okay. And then my second attack is a 13 total. That's with that one will three. not hit. Okay, so just the first one hits. So yep. damage is piercing and it's 1d8. It's an 8. Oh, uh, so you have shot that goblin off the lawn for calling you a dirty, ugly dwarf. <laughs> you hit him right in the chest, he falls backwards, and cracks his head on the ground. Uh, he lays still, actually. Hold on. Here, and we'll tell him to die. Wow. My immersion. <laughs> so immersive. <laughs> so immersive. Dear God. All right. Uh, Much louder. So, yep. Okay. So this this goblin, seeing his goblin buddy uh, get absolutely fucked. He's gonna one, two, three, four. Get wrecked, Gabo. He's gonna run. He's gonna shoot at. Uh, he's gonna shoot at the guy who shot his buddy. Mm, which I should be able to find. Oh yeah, he does. Yes, he does. I gotta look up how crits work. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, I gotta look at how crits work. <laughs> Would you just fucking look First at him time. go? First one up. Uh. I don't know how critical success on an attack actually works, to be honest with you. Pretty sure you just double. Yeah, hey, I think you got for double. characters, you double it. Yeah, yeah, you double. Is that what it is? You double, double the damage? Double the damage. Yeah. Is it double the damage or double the damage dice? Well, it's double, double the damage dice. Yeah, yeah just dice. dice. Yeah. It also doubles your modifier. Uh, oh, well, fuck I yes, thought, he does. I thought it did. No, okay. Oh, I, th I thought it didn't do that. I thought it was. Uh, All right. Let's look at critical hits in the glosser. I'm sure it's in there. This is one that I, you know, I thought maybe somebody would know it off the top of their head. I didn't need to read that, because I wasn't going to crit with a monster does, in the first does roll. Does his attack roll also exceed the AC by 10? So... Do you also have to do that? Yes. Uh, so, it is two, or, uh, I'm sorry, Lee's AC is 15. 17. The attack roll... Oh, I'm sorry, 17, doesn't matter. The attack roll's 28. Oh yeah, you just double after uh, after the roll and adding your bonus, and then you double. Okay. So you double it after the roll, with the bonus. So yeah, Lee's I think going five to take... Rolled, Is that right? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. So Lee, you're going to take uh, eight damage. Uh, and then the goblin is going to take the take cover action. Uh, we will say, go ahead, Greg. Alright. I'm going to re-up my beverage while Greg's going. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go up to this right. bush. I'm assuming he'll have cover because he's in cover. But we'll take a yeah, shot anyway. Yep. Um, this is going to minus two for the cover. I just wanted to make sure I was in range, because I'm actually pretty close since I have a hand crossbow. Uh, I got a 14 with the modifier. We'll do it. Okay. 14 did good. Yeah, that makes sense. That's all, all I got. Alrighty. All right. as well. uh, John, go ahead. degree angle sort of like karate chop you know like one in front of the other um Aww. yes pretty, pretty sure i saw this on master ken on on facebook earlier today that's <laughs> exactly <laughs> and uh he's going to uh start karate very quick Coming in hot. <laughs> Five. It's only 10 feet if it's uh, one after the other. The second right? one. No, it's, it's the oh, second it one's 10 feet. 
The third one's five feet. It's every that's other right, one. That's right, that's right. Okay, every so this will be 30. Okay. And then 35. Yep. Uh, 40. 40. Yeah. Okay, good. Stop right there. Yep. Uh, an arrow is going to come whizzing out of his book. The skill is coming up. Looks like small. That's a That's a He gets a big fella. Uh, an arrow's gonna come whizzing out of this bush at you. Okay. Uh, and it will whiz over your head. Okay. Uh, and then he's gonna go ahead and take another shot since he failed so badly the first time, and the second one's gonna go so far over your head. <laughs> he's just gonna take cover. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, I blindfolded somebody. I blindfolded myself. That's not good. Uh, that was my three actions, so I should be Uh, should be... Uh, it well, should be back to Tushi, yep. I'm dead goblin. Uh, just kind of noticing that, you know, there's goblins potentially mm. hidden, uh, hidden in the winds. I'm going to... Uh, do I got a clear line on this guy? Or is he kind of covered in cover? He's in cover, so you're going to minus two. Ah, uh, whatever, I'm feeling bold. So I'm just gonna head around the corner uh, and fire off another ray of frost. I was gonna frost him. Actually, am I within 30? Probably not. 5, 10, 35, 45, 50? Nah, we're not gonna So right, we're just gonna give him a ray of frost, but I'm gonna wave my hands around and say some words. And that's not gonna uh, That's not gonna no, that, as it turns out, will not cut it. So I'm going to then proceed to use the big cover action um, and just kind of get down inside of the, inside of the bushes. Uh, Got it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look towards Lee and yell at him. I wounded him. You're trying to finish him off. <laughs> I wounded him. <laughs> uh, okay, Lee, you're up. All right, I'm going to look up the guy who shot me. Faster. Uh, really giving him the business. Yep. So my hunting game just means I'm going to stare him down, but I'm going to give him the hunting shot, so I get two shots on him. Yep. And remember your minus two, because he took cover. He took cover, so minus two on the first one, uh, minus five on the second one. <coughs> uh, here we go, the first one. Um, is a 23. Jeez, that'll hit. And then the second one is at minus five yep. is a 16. That will also hit. So I can find the damage. So do I roll a d8? Let me see. Do I roll it twice or do I roll it once? You, I think you roll it twice and combine it. It's The reason okay. it's combined is for uh, damage resistance. Okay. Uh, I rolled an eight again and then a uh, five. I'm not cheating. I promise. I realize you're going to start making me roll on here. No, it's fine. Yeah, he has taken an arrow. That's how dice work. We know. He's dead. Yeah. Lee's doing some work. Uh, <laughs> and then for my third, I'm gonna just move up. So, that's it for me. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Him oh. Oh, I thought I had it locked, but I guess when I reloaded it in, it was locked. Yeah, it was vibrating for me. I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. <laughs> I, yeah, it looked fine for me. Goblin 2 who's dead, so it's Greg. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure which one was which. That's why I didn't. Yeah. No, you're good. That's that's my fault. I was just sitting there looking at my beard. Long what it's goblin is this one? Goblin 3? I don't know. Goblin 3. At it, but... I didn't How do you get, the, how do you get the, like, highlighting? I want the highlighting. The highlighting? Yeah, like when you mouse over a goblin versus, like, my own character. 
Oh, I have to name it, don't I? Yeah, name it. Yeah. Um, it's some of it. Some of it is. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, that's true. It's not working. Oh well. Anyways, um, the cover in this you kind of just can like shoot, right? Like I don't have to actually move anywhere. Maybe he'll just get the um... negative too. Or are we calling these like full line sight? No, you're okay. You can peek around it to see him. Okay. Um, so I'll just go ahead and take a shot with my crossbow at him. We got a 15, so plus 6 minus 2 is a 19. Should I hit? Uh, damage. I don't actually have that dice, so I'm just going to pull up my thing. Control the D5. <laughs> a D14. I've got one here. I've got a 2. Okay. Uh, so it ricochets through the through the bush and, and hits the goblin, uh, grazes him in the leg. I will. Uh, I'll go ahead and reload and take cover. Also, shout. I wounded him. It's your turn to finish him off. Shot. Or sin. Attacking from there, he will still have some cover. That's fine. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tiger strike him. Tell him that uh, you're about to be both of these. Jack Johnson, Tom O'Leary, right here. Uh, 25. Yeah, that'll do it. Give him some hands. <laughs> Just to hit. Jazz hands. Yeah, that's to hit. Hands. <laughs> Both of these hands. Uh, so, so you uh, you grab the goblin on the way by. You you hook his. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and hook his his neck on the way by and slash his throat, throwing him to the side of this tree. And his face his face hits. You hear his nose crunch and crumple. Uh, not to move anymore. Brutal. <laughs> 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 kind, kind of look back at a frozen one here and just kind of give him a kind of grin in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> give him the eyes. Crazy ass monk with a no name. <laughs> so you guys are good to go. You, you are out of combat. Uh, I'm gonna wander over to to John and just kind of attempt to give him a. <laughs> I'll, I'll like, well done. I'll, I'll like kind of look at uh, like look at his hand and I'll like reach over and like kind of, I'll kind of just put my hand up to match him. Not really. <laughs> Not touch him. Just like yeah, oh, just kind of put right. my hand up. I, 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 I pull away and slap my own hand and slap him on the back and just kind of wander around. It's like ah, oh, we all did so much damage there, guys. <laughs> I love it. He's, oh. shit. he's like, yep, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to deceive people? <laughs> I, I no, you're good. Uh, yeah, so go, we gotta kind of explore the yeah. goblins in the area and see if there's any tracks. So okay. I'll kind of go around for that. Uh, once again, I'm not very skilled, so it's very obvious that I look like I'm, I'm pretending that I know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, shit, yeah. I, ro I rolled a 20. <laughs> Alright. What was that for? Zeus was that, that was for, uh, uh, like to to look for tracks for other goblins. That was the primary purpose. So, Susie, you you actually can tell that uh, the goblins came from the they came from the uh, southeast, uh, and that's about what you can tell. Uh, the, the, their tracks led back to the southeast. Uh, Lee. As you're looting the goblin bodies, uh, you can find they all are carrying uh, some. They're all carrying a dog slicer. Uh, they have leather armor that's too small for anybody but a goblin. Uh, they've got. They each have a short bow, uh, and you find 29 arrows. 
or no, I'm sorry, 28 arrows that are a little too short for your longbow. Can I be able to retrieve my uh, three arrows that's stuck in the guys? Uh, yep, give me just a second. Or actually, check for this. Yeah, usually you Lead. check if they break. You get one back. One back? Okay. Yep. It's just a 50 50, Greg. Uh, I'll, I'll try for my one bolt. I'm just gonna let everybody know. That, uh, nope, no bolt, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Let everybody know that I. Uh, that um, Greg, or Lee, I'm sorry, uh, you also find, as you're rummaging through their pockets, you find 32 copper pieces and 11 silver pieces. Let's, uh, I got. I'm gonna flick a silver piece over to the popsicle. Keep the rest for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone gonna have a good name for him? I need to think of something. <laughs> call, him volley, call him volleyball, Greg. <laughs> this ice man loves volleyball. <laughs> Uh, and you guys all get 90 experience. While everybody's exploring, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prepare some alchemical items with my infusions. Make two poisons and two alchemist bombs. Okay. Or alchemist fire. Good enough. Uh, What are you guys up to? Also, uh, we talked about this earlier, and everybody assumed Tusi was doing it before he was in here. Who's keeping the map? Well, I assume we haven't actually moved the tile yet. Yes, you have moved one tile to the east. Okay. Uh, oh. You are in J24. I'm sure you can. I was actually going to do that. But I, I, like I said, I used my third grade coloring skills to do it with colored right, pencils. Right, right. Because, I mean, what, should, should I just keep track of, like, I guess, notes on it? Or should I do it for, like, the forest or, like, My man, it is, it is your map. But I will tell you, the, uh, a good way to do it is to tell what kind of terrain type is there for certain. And then after that, notes on I mean, I guess just that's fine, you know, forest. That's like... How about this? Can I take a perception check to look around and see if there's anything else interesting? Uh, uh, we still don't have Jared, but I oh. think just roll for it. I... Alright, here we go. I rolled a 19. Alright. What do I see, Jared? <laughs> figured it out. There we go. I think I, I dropped from the news You did indeed. You did indeed. So we, were we, all, we all knew that. Yeah. Yeah, when I just stopped talking, like, mid-sentence. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear uh, Did you hear what Lee said at all? Or did you... No. I was talking to John about what he should put on the map, uh, which is, at minimum, you should probably put the terrain type, and you should know where you are on the hex grid. Right, but other right, than that, you can put whatever you want. So I, I, Lee, what did you say? I said I want to take a perception check to see if there's anything else interesting around us. And I rolled a 19 total. So that was with 19 mind. total? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what you can see around you is that uh, you're just a little bit farther into the woods, probably about a mile or two past where the lumberjacks have marked some trees. Um, you can tell that these goblins kind of have been patrolling the area. Uh, so you see a lot of footprints where they've been kind of wandering from this spot uh, out toward where the lumberjacks are, like they've been kind of watching them for a few days. Uh, and then you also see, uh, like I said, 
uh, early as John, you can tell that their, their tracks came, their original tracks came from the south. Okay. Which, which direction are we facing right now? Um, fuck, I don't know. The bottom, this little piezo marker down here, we'll say is the southeast. Uh, okay. Down, down okay. Over here. So this is, okay. Yep, so south is down, north is up. With that orientation. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> that, that was what we needed. <laughs> I was. Yeah, I was struggling with that for a second. Look, I'm a geologist. This is what we do. I write an arrow and I put. Is it though? No, really. <laughs> like, He's not lying. No, really. Travis Rose, a <laughs> north right. that way. Yep, that's the first thing you. So I'm out. gonna segue out of out of Pathfinder for a hot second, and I shit you not, we had a, a client complain to us because we put our north arrow uh, facing uh, or on the opposite corner of a drawing, and they wanted it on. Wow, uh, like they they literally it was on the top right of the drawing, and they wanted it on the top left, and that was a big fucking mess for whatever. They're paying the bills. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we said. We're like, okay, so you want us to spend like half an hour redoing all of our drawings? Cool, whatever, an hour. <laughs> we will do it. But, alright, proceed. Uh, so, I, I, we've been through all this, though. Like, we, we are, we've got a pretty good trail of where they're actually. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I guess, is uh, everybody good? Or are you feeling okay? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, hardy, hardy as ever. <laughs> oh yeah, oh shit. <laughs> Do one more set of reagents and prepare some uh, elixirs of life. I just, I just kind of look, uh, look at Lee and I kind of reach out and say, I touch him, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and give him a heal. Oh, nice. You want an elixir of life? I'm not going to say anything, I'm just going to... Give him those icy cold fingers on the back? Exactly. Uh, upper hands, oh no. He's <laughs> 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 All right. Shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you get six, six HP there. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's D8. Let's hold on to that looks for life. And, uh, just save it. Cause I'm, I'm not down too much. So, okay. Okay. I need it. I'm in favor of uh, tracking down those gobble tracks. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Okay, so if we move to hex collection, let's see here. You guys all have a speed of at least 25 feet. I'm, I'm 20 against them stub legs. <laughs> Alright. Damn, damn stub coming. legs. Yeah, I was, I was so, like, ah, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> who's got 30 or more? Probably John. I don't. I only have 25 right now. Oh, really? Talk to me okay. at levels. So you guys, yeah. get, you guys get <laughs> one activity per day in Hexploration. So, so far, you are in this area. Okay. Um, you're, you, you've moved in this area that was basically free, so you can... You can travel a hex, and you've already made the checks to track, so I'll give you that one for free. If you want to track and travel, that'll take you basically one day okay. to go to follow the uh, follow the tracks to a new hex. And we're going southeast. We'll go to the we're going southeast. southeast. You can also you can also spend time surveying and exploring the area if you like for the reconnoiter action. This is in the PDF. To cut out, but I'm assuming he agreed. He agreed. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't have to actually be the one to use these. Never mind. I can hand this shit out. Oh, you can. Okay. 
So, you guys, we're going to go back to Overland. So you guys are uh, going to go ahead and travel. You're going to travel in the next hex. Uh, it's starting to get into the... It's, it's definitely late afternoon at this point. Okay. Excuse me. Looking toward evening. Uh, what are you guys looking to do? You guys are in K25. Following the goblin tracks. Right, okay. And, and you've, been, you've been traveling... And you've been following them for, for a solid a solid eight hours at this point. Uh, the goblins, they, they, at this point, you're, you're fairly certain they've come from somewhere. Uh, the trail has been pretty steady. Um, it's almost like there's a worn path. Take up watches. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys, are you guys gonna sleep in your armor or out of your armor? Sleep in your armor, you get exhausted more. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Joke. I'll say jokes on me. Nobody's wearing armor. <laughs> I'm, I, I, never will. <laughs> I think uh, Lee, are you the only one? I got leather. I also yeah. have leather. Dwarf sleep naked, so. <laughs> just dwarf sleep <laughs> naked. Alright, who's on, who's on, what's the, what's the watch order now that we got the dwarf sleep naked out of the way? I did the first watch, uh, to try to, to try to get to bed as quickly as possible. You guys lighting a fire or anything like that, or are you sleeping sleeping neck in the forest? I think we need to light a small fire to cook. And, yeah. Uh, put yeah. it put it back out before uh, the first watch starts. Okay. Say you bought a tent. I don't got that. I don't I'm that. pretty sure they're not that expensive. Uh, actually, no. she's out there. She's out there, Castor Pono, uh, which is Latin for pitch tent, as it turns out. <laughs> is it like a Harry Potter tent? Where it's like a house on the inside. Uh, so they have the four-person tent uh, that I thought about getting, but the second time. I'm not sure what the pup tent is, but I figured since I'm a pup, I'm going to say it's literally like a one person, like two, yeah. like the smallest yeah. possible covering. Yep, yeah. that's what we're going for. Okay, so two so, single tent. I, I like, I will first, I'm, I, I'll set up outside and get ready to run for what I'm setting up. Uh, I'm just going to pick up some brush and dry hysterical <laughs> my dice just did a thing okay so you guys uh you managed to cook a trail ration dinner i'm assuming you guys all have some sort of food on you yeah yeah, yeah. so mark off whatever constitutes one meal okay. for a day of trail Pack. rations if you have rations yeah just mark off a meal um so uh watch is going fine uh, John and Greg both fall asleep on watch. Uh, so, Tusi wakes... Uh, no, Tusi was first. Lee wakes John up. Uh, and Lee wakes John up and sends him to bed. Uh, and then Greg Greg wakes up in the morning uh, sitting at his at the stump that he's leaned against uh, and decides not to tell anybody that he passed out for the last, like, three hours or, or last hour of his shift. Uh, but, you know, as it turns out, 
uh, it's morning and you guys, your camp's held up fine. Everybody got a got a full night's sleep and some of the people got a little extra. <laughs> you guys are ready to go. Yeah, I rolled, literally rolled 21, 21. <laughs> I don't like your dice. That's scary. I don't like, I don't like <laughs> That's real bad. It was wild. I like that one. Like, oh, oh, this is, this shouldn't happen. You need to drink one more beer. This is crazy. Oh, dude, I got, it's all we're I got two more in the cooler. It's going to be fine. I brought the cooler up for this nonsense. <laughs> oh, sorry, right. John, I haven't the... brought the cooler up since Hammered Watch. So, so you guys are up. You guys are in K25. Uh, you've got you've got free reign. Um, what so, do you want to do? So uh, this is like a goblin trail still. Like there's no. Like... Yeah, yeah. You're still on a trail. You disregard the map, obviously. Sure, right. You guys are still. You can follow the track. You've been on it for. You've been on it for about a day. Like I said, it's worn in a little bit. Like this is. Uh, like maybe there's been some goblins back and forth actually scouting this new human, primarily human, uh, town that's developing. So it's still the same, same kind of, uh, same kind of forest, right? Forest. Yep, forest. Uh, fairly dense. Like it's been uh, pretty well undisturbed. I mean, I think we should like They're still heading southeast. Yep, heading southeast. I'm just thinking. You guys are in. Like I said, you guys are in K25 if you're mapping. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just thinking, like, should we... I feel like marching straight down, like, the obvious, like, well-beaten path now is a little bit more dangerous. Because we're gonna, like, you know, like, it would be more obvious that we're going. I'm wondering if we should, like, skirt the edge of it, or if, you know, I, I, I don't know what you what guys think. Yeah, dropping down to this, like, southwest. Yeah, like, just if we're gonna follow this, like, trail and it's game more and more, like, well... Obviously, that means that it's traveled more, so, like, it, it, you know, like, getting off the path a little bit, so, we, like, if we do come across somebody that we aren't just, like, you know, right in the middle of the fucking road, like, hey, <laughs> what's, what's up? Hey there. So, hey there, oh dear. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Uh, I, I agree with Sin's, uh, with Sin's comment. Um, what would I, like, how big, typically, are goblins in Canada? Like, how, like, what? Uh, roll me a lore check. I'll let you roll it. Sure. 20. Dirty. Dirty. Alright, so... This one, uh, you remember that goblin encampments can vary in size, uh, depending on what they're functioning is. The standard, like, goblin warren can have anywhere from, you know, a, a small clan's worth of goblins, uh, to, you know, five or ten. But... Uh, you know that goblin raiding parties uh, are typically smaller and like to spread out. Uh, they like to spread out around whatever they're raiding, so it's less likely that they're going to get found. Okay, like they won't all commune at the like they won't all congregate at the like same, that. Yeah, yeah. At the same right, time. because if they if they get found, they uh, goblins typically try to run away, and they like to have another encampment to go to. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this fucking fall of war. I see it where it's just like guerrilla war. Yeah, it's, I'm trying to get it to where it'll like work. Well, I'm if it's All right. It's locked, locked. Nope, it's fine. I just keep clicking around. All right, can you see the map or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fine. I'm just trying to get from the war for later. You guys keep doing your thing. How about now? Uh, so see it. Yep. Well, I had the original map like sunk in the board. Oh, that's right. How about now? Uh, just a there we go. Oh, there there we go. Go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Now I can do stuff behind the scenes if I want to. So I, I'm with, I'm with, so the, we wander down. Okay. To the south or yeah. west this time. Can I find like just I don't south know, like, to the southwest? Well, I think to the, we keep taking southeast, but we like we aren't on the main track. Oh, uh, I see, I see. I thought you were. No, I, I, I'm thinking that we we we're following the path, but like say we're like a ridge down from. You know what I mean? Like it's where like you're keeping the track. Because if it's more well worn, you should be able to see it from a distance. Is my logic. So like it, 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 you know, like we're kind of like we aren't walking directly. On I'm 
by that. So if anybody walks down the path, you want to have a half match chance. Right, yeah, like the, you know, it's like, we aren't just like, boldly scaling. Yeah, in, unless you want to, like, we can, you know, I can, you know, we can just fucking saunter in, but I feel like it'd be better, you know. I will make four alchemical bombs and juggle them while walking down the path. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, you guys are going to basically reconnoiter this area. Uh, is what you're doing right. on the hex base. So you're going to be tracking through this area as you go. Um, I would like everybody to give me a. Let's go ahead and give a perception check across the board. Uh, with the daily rest, I'm just going to prepare exactly what I prepared right after we did that combo. Just two Rock. of each. I got a critical perception. I got a 17. 19. When you said you critted lead, uh, you, mean you rolled a nat 20, what was your total? 20 plus 5, 25. Okay. So, the, I don't know if you read it or not, but the way criticals work in this is you have to exceed the DC by 10. And oh, if, you okay. roll, if you roll a nat 20 or a nat 1, you also gain a level of success or lose a level of success. And so, if the DC was 15, per se, you would have got a critical success off your natural roll uh, of 25, and then another critical success, basically, of, uh, from your over it. fucking nat 20. Right. So you would have blew it out of the water. Uh, yes. But if, you, if the DC would have been like 18... You would have got a normal success, but then it would have bumped up one because you rolled a 20. Okay, I got you. Okay, so uh, what you guys see, you're following the path, and uh, go ahead and are you guys trying to be stealthy or not? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely yeah, trying to be I'm stealthy. Gonna stealth. yeah, I'm gonna... Let's go ahead and do some stealthy checks, too. Something I'm actually, actually good at. Uh, 20. 20. Four. I did not roll a four. I almost rolled a four. I have a total check of uh, eleven. Yeah, my total. My total is four. Okay, so as you wander down the road or the, well, the little path, uh, you see it start to get like you see tracks start to kind of spread out around the area as though, you know, goblins have congregated in this area. And you actually can hear, uh, you can hear some voices on the, kind of on the wind. It's obviously a conversation. Uh, Lee, you can tell it's in, it's in Goblinoid, or it's in Goblin, uh, I should say, and, but you can't tell what they're saying. Uh, so you hear goblins ahead. Uh, and then all of a sudden, as, as you're kind of stalking down the path, all the voices stop. They heard me, guys. Fair voice. Let to get my bow ready. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just yeah, prepare, basically. <laughs> like, prepare, you go. Uh, yeah, because I can only I'll go... I'll stay here if you guys want to yeah, sneak around a bit. My thing with my stances is I can only go into the and encounter mode. Like, I can't be walking around in tiger stance. You know what I'm saying? Like... I can't just walk around tight enough. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't be all just aggro all the time. I have to get bloodlust, basically. So, I'd, I'd like to try to sneak up and get a, get a view of the goblins. Okay. I'm gonna hang back. Another, I will yeah, not. Give me another it. stealth check. Ooh, a nine total. Okay. Anybody else going with him? Uh, I was hanging. Or shit got real. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and ask everybody to roll initiative and put your new initiative in the tracker. Okay. Go, boys. Ooh, I rolled a four. Oh, yeah. So, as Elise stalks down the trail, uh, the ch the, you hear a, a shrill whistle. From presumably a goblin. As soon as I tell the language, he's whistling. He's, oh, he's it's Spanish. Awesome. We're gonna just rewind. <laughs> 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 
grab the whole board because every time you load it in, it, un it unlocks. Oh, right. That makes sense. For whatever reason. A shrill whistle, and you see in two arrows come whizzing towards you. Okay. Both arrows hit. That's, that's a thing that's gonna hurt. What the fuck is that? I should have passed the other counter. What is it? Dead oh god, that's uh, extra dead dice when you crit. No, it yeah, leaves extra dice when you crit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, did, it didn't crit. Okay. I just wanted to know what deadly meant. When you when it's deadly, you add the damage die again. Okay. No. Okay. There's yeah. a. There okay. Maybe a we didn't. Damage die. We didn't do that. Yeah. It's All right. So Lee, you're gonna take. Is. Uh, you're gonna take six damage, and you're gonna throw me some saves. Oh boy. Okay. That's what you're gonna do. And that one gets rolled in after the fight. Yes, so you you got six damage, and then I have to figure out <laughs> where that fucking shit came from. Oh my god. Greg, remind yeah. me what poison I used. Centipede something. Oh, giant centipede. Giant centipede. Giant. Giant. Do you need what it is? Yeah, give me a, give me a uh, page number. That's literally what I crafted. Uh... So it doesn't do anything on stage one. Oh, there it is. Stage one is one to six points of damage for one round. Stage two well, it's, is one it's to a eight. fortitude of it's a fort save. Oh, right? 17. Yeah, 17. Yep. Roll me a fort save, Lee. Two of them actually. A, a nine on the first one. Okay, so you failed that. Like ten. Uh, and what page is this on, Greg? Do you remember? That's uh, five fifty one. According to this. Five, Love it. There it is. I have found it. Love it. I'm using Greg to tell me my poison. Hide the page number. That's what I like about this tool because it has references for everything. Yeah, it's really nice. I just forgot to write down the reference for that. Uh, so, so Lee, you are going to take. An now, additional. Injury, which if you applied it to a weapon, it would just immediately take one. You're gonna take an additional nine damage in your flat foot turn. Uh, you take. Uh, this be stage one. Flat foot stage two, right? Yeah, you failed two. He was exposed to the poison twice and failed both. Right, you get hit twice. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what's, what's your HP actually at? Uh, five. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, he is he 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 he's yeah. gonna die probably. <laughs> well, I can heal you when it's my turn, but uh, that's, uh, uh, let's see. And then we'll go to combat. Uh, all right, boys. Lee's up. Bleeding. Right. Uh, at the, it's at the end of your turn. You're gonna take a save. Yeah, end of your turn. You're gonna take a save. A fort save. Yep. To see if your poison is worse or better. All right. Um. So, which goblin shot at me? Do I know? Uh, you saw the arrows come from your wide left and right. Uh, okay. Let's take a shot at G two. Uh, I'll start off with making him hunted, and 
then I'll do the, um, uh, the Fuji G2, shot, by the way. What's that? They're both G2 on the left and right. Oh, uh, so the left one. So the first shot is a 18. Second shot is a 8. First we hit. Okay. Uh, 5 damage. And then with my third action, I'm going to take cover on the truck. And then you said I need a 4 save. Yeah, and Lee, earlier I had you take some damage. Uh, you should reduce that damage by two. Because I, I used the wrong die. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's what happened. Left, right, right, right. That fucking sucks. Poison is dirty in this game. Yeah, it absolutely fucking is. Um, but you do have to hit. What is the ma Okay, the max duration is six rounds. This will be your... This will be your second round of it. Um, and you'll take two damage. Okay. So it's back where it is. Yep, All and right. mark that down the drum on round two. That's good. Uh, John. Alright, um... Sid's going to, uh... that you learned that in high school swimming class. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm, I'm clearly not okay. I'm poisoned. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm in a bad way, man. I'm just wondering if I should, like, throw you, give you one of my potions or not, but I think it's gonna take a minute for you to actually use it. I can't, like, potion. It actually read love... how to, like, administer a potion. <laughs> yeah, I love how Lee had potions. He's like, I'll shoot that motherfucker. Right. Hey, damage avoided. Damage uh, avoided. Yep. I feel like you have a potion, so I feel like yeah, I have a, yeah, I so, have a potion. So I'll run up here, uh, seeing that you're very well, just sort of like nod at you and just like take cover, and I'll go with the tiger stance for my second action. And then uh, I'm going to move five. How big are these? Uh, uh, so those are like crates that are about three foot tall. Uh, kind of cool. There'll be a, yeah, you can take cover behind them if you want. Uh, if you're standing on them, you're not going to get any general cover, but if you can use it to take cover extra. Yeah. And if you go across them, it's just going to be an extra five. I'll just, I'll, 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 i that's yeah, I'll give you cover from the goblins. Everything except V2. Yeah, yeah right. Come on, come on. Right. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna like hang out there, and uh, you know, so that's my actions. Okay. Uh, to Greg. So I'm gonna yell at him. I'm gonna yell. I can heal him if you live to the next round. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious, like, how do you know offhand or how to do administering of potions? Uh. I'm, I think it's just action. Is it? I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know why it wouldn't be. I mean, it's an interact, right? I mean, you're uncorking a potion and pouring it down somebody's throat. That's six seconds-ish. Yeah. Okay. Right? I mean, um, I, I'd call it one action. For example, yeah, drinking a potion fire. when your belt requires an interact action to draw it, and then using a section, second action to drink it as described, and it's activated to Right, so I would need one to move to him and two to feed it to him. Yeah, you need one I'm to draw. It. Yeah. Right, you need one to move, one to draw, one to get. Yeah. Um, because my elixirs of life give a bonus to saving throws against diseases and poisons. Which is and hey, as it turns out, that's handy. Pretty uh, handy. So yeah, I think I will do one, two, three, four, five, and go ahead and do that. Um, so it's one d six plus one. Uh, so that'll be four life back, as well as a uh, item bonus. Oh, never mind. It's three life back, and the bonus is plus one. <laughs> That's what that means. Oh, okay. So 
three life back and gets a plus one to a saving throw against Borden. Yeah. Thank okay, you. It helps a little bit. Every little bit helps. All right. Uh, goblin number one. Uh, seeing Greg distracted. Ellie. Seeing Ellie distracted trying to give a potion to the, uh, the dwarf that he's already shot and poisoned. He's going to gonna take uh, two shots at Greg and then run away. Uh, Greg, I see. I got it. Uh, one hits, one misses. Uh, actually, I don't know what this is. I lied. Both hit. Sorry about you. Uh, Ready to take some fortitude. Well, actually, you're gonna take, if I can. You're going to take five damage and a couple fort saves. It shouldn't be. Unless they pre poison their entire turn. I think they pre poison their entire way, I agree. Yep, they got a few. They don't have very many. Uh, you got two fort saves. Oh. That's good. Uh, failed one. Yeah, almost critically. Almost the critically, other one I should huh? succeed because I have a 21. Yep, you do. Uh, so you're going to take... Three damage. Eight total. Yep. Uh, and then we will... This guy is going to... Just go back here. Five, ten, four, ten, five. All right, and we're back to two. No, oh, I'm sorry, Goblin Three. Goblin I'm three pretty sure. Gonna... I'm... Yeah, Goblin Three is going to take two shots at John, Goblin and then Squid Eagle. Okay. Uh, nope, no dice. Okay. And he's going to squirm back over. Go ahead, TC. Give him those hands. What do we actually do? So, uh, I look at Lee, kind of trying to get an idea of it, whether how hurt he is. Uh, is it still worth trying to get after him or what? Uh, I'll be okay. Go after the gal. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm trying to, I'm just going to let out like a primal vehicle and do the old double move. Forty-five, fifty, fifty. We're getting up real close and I'm going to look at goblin number two and I'm going to, I'm going to kind of, uh, toss fire at him. Uh, give him the old elemental toss. Okay. Uh, so, so I'm here we go. Oh, baby, we great. Uh, that's a 20 uh, plus 7, so it's a total of 27. All right, you will get a critical success. Okay, so he is going to take 1d8 fire damage, which is okay. a 3, and then double it. Okay. Uh, on critical success, so he just takes 6. Okay, he scorched pretty good. Uh, that's, all, that's all I got. Yeah, you, you scorched him. He, he recoils back. That's G2. Yes, brother. Use my thing. I don't need to much about it, though. Okay. Oh, perfect. That was my, that was my focus spell. And so, oh. that was my bloodline spell. Even the old blood. Did anyone else damage one? I was trying to keep track just so we kind of know. No, nobody else has hurt one yet. Alright, um... He does something, I'll find it. Okay. Goblin 4 is going to shoot at you because you ran up to your fire, and that's scary. Uh, one hit. Uh, what is that? Yeah. What is it? Oh, yeah, two hit. Didn't I put damage on Goblin number 1? Yeah, I think he hit him once. I didn't... Yeah, you break that one. Thinking about it at the time. Uh, Goblin no, no, no. he, he takes one more damage, Jared. He takes one more? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you did hit Goblin 1, Lee. Um, and you hit him for. You hit him with one of your two shots. Yeah, one shot. I think it was five. I 
We'll give you six because I, uh, because I was not going to. That's probably very good. Just to be completely fair. Yeah, probably better. Alright, so you get hit with two, uh, two C for, uh, nine damage, no four chips. Uh, and then Goblin Numero Dose. Uh, he's gonna sling one at Sinbad and one at the Frozen one. First, we're gonna go with the Frozen one. Uh, we're gonna hit on the Frozen one, we're gonna miss on Sinbad. Uh, and That's a nine damage, damage on that first one? Yeah, and you're gonna take six more in a fort save. Uh, two life, so hopefully it's fort save, though, right? Oh, God. Uh, that's an 18. All good, brother. A six coming out in handy there. All good, brother. Okay. Uh, that'll be back to the top. Please. All right. Taking a shot at gobble number one again. Okay. He's already hunted, so I don't have to use an action to do that. So I'm just going to do my um, hunted shots, two quick shots on First one is a 15. Uh, one nope. Is a nine. Nope. Wait, which one? That was Goblin 1, you said? Yeah, nope and yep. nope. Alright. I am gonna go ahead and drink my health potion. Yep. Uh, D8, right? Yeah, one uh, the minor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I only healed three. All right. And fort save. Here's That's a plus one to my fort save. Uh, ten. Man, brother, that's not good. You don't get any worse. You're clumsy. You're flat-footed. You take two. Alright. Survey's dead. Danger. Tiger stance. That's right. <laughs> uh, then, uh, five. This is ten, right? Yep. So ten. Fifteen. So fifteen, and you should be able to get twenty. Twenty. Right. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna, uh, you know, palm the uh, fucking beat the shit out of the goblins and see. So let's knock you. Uh, that's a one. That's oh, unfortunately yeah. bad. And then I'll try the second one at plus three. How's the 16? Uh, 16 will hit. One movement, two attacks. So you two should be done. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Yep. You, you whacked him right in the nut sack, and he died. All right. That's what uh, we're going for. All right, Greg. I'll do one, two, three. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, shoot a goblin two. You got it. Uh, that's a crit. I have a twenty-six. Uh, yep. So 20, 26 total is what you have, and then you got you roll that point. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Critical success. Okay. And max damage, so 12. Uh, that dude, that was G2. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so you have, uh, very dead. <laughs> you managed to perm the bolt and came that 3 to 1. And then, uh, uh He's been taking lessons from Angelina Jolie. I believe. Reload that too. Yeah. I'll uh, yep. You got one more for a reload. Yeah, that dude needed to die real bad. Good job. So that's uh, G2 and 4 dead. Can't take damage if they're dead. That's right. So G1 and 3 are going to go. Fortunately, G1 and 3 are the ones that can burst. True. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, I didn't guy. know if I was gonna he's crit, gonna right? He's gonna scuttle over here damage. and he's gonna shoot two at John. Probably should have taken cover, actually. That's awesome. reloading. Uh, John, AC is... No dice. The wisdom is too past the monk. First time. Uh, the next one is going to do... Be... Yeah, he's gonna shuffle back and shoot two more at John. Uh, that one will work. Uh, so that's a... John, you're gonna take 10. 10. No save. Yeah. Yep. He could have you. On the boss. Hurts. Alright. Yep, two to the chest. He said, I watched, he watched you dodge one time too many. And he's like, nah, I got his pattern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, two sets to you. So seeing those being down where they are, okay. Uh, I am gonna go ahead. Oh, God, it's hurt. Oh, there's my thing. Gotta get a bottom. Range weapons in general are just kind of powerful. They do more than they do. Yeah, but then they have to waste two actions to actually oh, get yeah. into melee. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the fact that we're just taking two hits from every goblin every turn is painful. Yep, and they can run away. Pathfinder, I see why the monster is like, it's like, oh, you should have really small encounters. Because they can actually do stuff. Yeah, they, yeah, they run around. away and they fucking yeah. hurt. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and cast uh, uh, the triple action version of heal. Uh, just, oh. Oh. I think, oh, I, I think I can do that. But, uh, might be... Sounds cool. Yeah, Sounds so I just press positive energy and a 30 foot animation off target. Back to the burst. So here we go, boys. How's everybody like a oh, three? A lot, lot. Everybody gets three to three back. I'll take it. Nothing. I'll take it. Lee's over here poisoned as fuck, like trying not to die. <laughs> oh, it. I didn't take my poison. Uh, no, I'm Greg, you will love it. That's what I like. A solid 25. I think I'm good. Yeah, so you, Greg actually recovered from the poison. Wow. That's fine. How old is your turn here, Greg? 19. Oh, yeah. The young blood. It's like fucking hanging out right, right? Just fucking drink. Spry. The board. You're fine. Doesn't matter. She's resourceful, man. Yeah. Well, she just. Well, it's because she's been licking that centipede venom for like weeks. <laughs> Slowly incorporated into the. Diet. Getting immunity. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, so back to the top. That'll be Lee. Oh man. All right. Um, I, am I slow? You said I was clumsy and flat-footed. You are clumsy and flat-footed. Flat, flat-footed. Yeah, flat-footed. Fluted. Fluted. And, uh, clumsy does. Uh, your movement becomes clumsy and exact. Uh, clumsy always includes a value. You take a status penalty and you the position that is a death space. Checks and DCs including AC, reflex, ranged attacks, and skills using acrobatic stealth and defense. So you're taking right. a minus one to your attack rolls. Okay. And your AC. And well, then flat footage minus another couple to your AC. So you're like minus three to AC. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take my two shots on the uh, goblin number one that's running away. So I'm at... I don't know that you can see him. Uh, if you move up if you move up to the bush, I'll let you park some bush and shoot him. Yep. All right. Part of bush. Is the first of bush minus bleed. one? Is it just minus one for the first one? It's gonna be minus one for the first one and minus uh, one plus whatever your normal minus is. I think it's three. Is he hunted? Yeah, he's hunted. So it's minus three. So yeah, minus so minus four. one, minus four. Okay. So my first shot is um, seventeen plus six, so twenty-three. Second one is. At 20 plus uh, two, so 22. Both are hits. Uh, okay. The second one will. The second one will be a critical. Okay, so uh, first die is a 
four is the second die. He is a six of the double. Yep, so you showed him. Uh, you blew, you blew him up. Alright. <laughs> I do like that I can feel these guys should die in this fall. Like, that's kind of cool. Very, very sad. Uh, John. Or no, Lee's got an action, unless that's a... Uh, is that a single action, Lee, or is that a two? Well, it was move, and then the shoot is a single action. So you got one more if you want it. I'm gonna take cover, and then I got my fort, okay. fort save. So, um, a 10 again, god damn it. Well, you're on what round? This is four, four or five. This is the you'll take, oh my god, you'll take one damage on a d12. <laughs> Thank god. Alright. Can't let anybody save all. Alright, that'll be the John. Alright, uh, send, uh, sprints forward. 10, 20, 30. Okay. And, uh, that is two movements just to get there, fortunately. But he's going to yep. take a strike at him with his tiger strike. Is it Bofa or D's? Uh, this is I Bofa and how's it 12? Yeah, that's I'm good. Do it. Feels bad. Alright, uh, that's it. Man, oh, casting yeah. really fucking sucks. Uh, well, you're we're not. Well, in the, you're, we're not. You're in the I was say your cantrips are not great that are actually hitting on AC, right? Yeah. You need the stuff that gives you reflex save. Well, uh, and, and the problem is all that is short range, and uh, in, in like I'm the I'm the AOE, the AOE dude, and the only AOEs I have right now are 20 foot cones. And these fucking goblins are running like bitches. Yeah, same. <laughs> it's, 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 and it's like eh, they're not that close. Yeah, outdoors is weird. Uh, yeah. Well, you have to, yeah, you have to have a, you all have it. Right. You have right? to have a melee weapon. Yeah. You, you have to have a melee weapon. Okay. You, you get one free reaction. Now, you can do a lot of other stuff with it, so you get multiple act, multiple reactions. Right. But you can only attack of opportunity once. Right. So, I could attack of opportunity and have it be moved If he away. tries to move away right. from you and not step. Not step. But if right. he just takes a five-foot step as an action, he right. can get away. Right. Yeah. Uh, Greg, do the stuff. Am I good to just shoot at him from here? Or those, I don't know what those are, like those tumors are or something? Bed rolls. Bed rolls. Oh, bed rolls, okay. Yeah. Um, I think you would, you would definitely have cover from here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, if he's not taking cover. Right? No, but he's directly behind a tree and dropping away. That's true. Okay. Just we'll one it. in there. Uh, we will shoot. We will get a 22. So 20. Doesn't give no, no fucks about cover. That's a hit. Okay. And damage for that one. Oh, that might be six. Two. Okay, he takes two. And I'll reload and shoot again. Because why not? Okay. Running H-O-T. That one knocked her head off. That was, that was, that was, that was ten. All right, this goblin's gonna drop his bow for free, draw his sword, and take two chops at John with the dog slicer. Okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, he does have a dog slicer, not a horse chop. All right, he's gonna dog slice him. Um, we're gonna have one hit okay. for. One damage, John. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Uh, and we'll go back to the top. We found the leaves. Alright. He's gonna skip me. It's not cool. Please over here bleed no, out. No, John takes one no, damage. Juicy needs to go. Yeah. Casually skip me. Uh, I yeah, I did casually skip you. You're at the very bottom. Juicy, go ahead. I'm All really right. bad about skipping the bottom. <laughs> Gonna, I'm just gonna toss a couple of. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw some more fire. After these flames, can throw his face. Uh, actually, I can move. If you have to cut over one more, you'll get him with no cover. Go left. High left. Here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. 
25. Yep, clean shot, take him. That's an 18, plus 7, so 25. That'll do the job. Alright. I assume that's not. That's not double damage. Or, sorry, it's not a crit. What'd you say it was, total 25? Yeah. Not a crit. I rolled one plus my spellcasting ability modifier. I'm not really sure what my spellcasting ability is. Uh, or charisma? Yeah, so like, is it invented my charisma modifier? That's five damage. That's five. That's five, you said? Yeah. Oh man, I forgot to do that with my 1d4 damage last time. Whatever. Pull him up. Catches fire in front of John. John swings Bofa. Yeah, and he swings it so hard, he's pretty sure the friction caught that dude on fire. Yes. <laughs> Alright, guys, you're back in. Yeah, you're back in free roam at the end of this. Uh, at the end of the encounter, everybody who's still poisoned with the lead, give me a four save. Okay. Can we help him uh, on that? Eight, 18. Yeah, can we help him? 18. Lee, you are down to stage two. Uh, let's see what you got. You're going to take uh, five more damage. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Uh, and yeah, now you guys can run help him. You've got, you've got another little bit for you. Let's take another one. All right. Well, I will use an action to feed him another, uh, I'll use I'll use this. Well, actually, no, never mind. I can't use that. That's new shit. I'll, I'll, I'll feed him an elixir and do the help. I think it's a medicine check or something. Uh, yeah, yeah it's medicine check. Oh, look at you, funny. I know there's like uh, a help but... action, right? Like an assist. It won't really help. You can't really assist his immune system against poison. True. Uh, I only medicine got a uh, eleven. Okay. You do anything else? Um, yeah, I was feeding him another potion, so let me roll the heal on that, too. Okay. Uh, four on that. Lee, get four hit points back. Anything else before he takes another fort save for his last round of poison? Nope. Just reload Go ahead, weapon. Lee. Fort save it. I am next to him, right? Oh, no, I guess I have to yeah. move to him, so. Uh, yeah, 13. Uh, that's a fail. Lee, you're going to take uh, four damage, and you have recovered from the poison. Just to be clear, my fort save is a plus six, and I'm st I am just still rolled like I, I was, I wondered, I was like, he's got to be rolling fucking terrible. Yeah, it's yeah, been... bad on everything. It, it made up for the good rolls when killing goblins, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yep, you take four damage, and you're good. You right. have, the poison has burned its way through your system. Uh, it kind of tingled on the way out. You kind of liked it. Can I try to bandage myself or something to heal some HP? How does that work? I don't think so. You get Sorry. some back when we long rest, I think. I don't remember how you much. Get like... <laughs> oh, I'd have to look at it. It's, it's like, like half or something. It's not it? that much, yeah. No? It's, no, it's, not, like half it's, it's right. not that much for resting, yeah. Yeah. I'll make two more uh, heal and you, elixirs. And you, guys are, you guys are like middle of the day-ish. So um, like just late after you know like mid afternoon like maybe three o'clock. Can I check and see what's in this pack here? Uh yeah. So you guys, as you're exploring the little area here with the goblins, aside from their corpses, you notice they've got a couple bed rolls. It's like they've been set up here for a while. Uh, and then this is this is clearly where they've been observing the town from. Okay. Uh, so you can see they've got some crates, they've chopped some firewood, they've got a little fire and some bed rolls. It's a crude little encampment, uh, but they do have a, a shoddy looking table, and on the table is a little, oh, like a little box, like a hinged box. Okay. Is it? I'm gonna open the box. Is it locked or? What's in the box? It does not appear to be locked. Does not appear to be locked. Uh, yeah, I'll open it. Okay. So, John, you find, what did I find? Uh, inside the box, you find a uh, you find a minor healing potion that you can tell because of the, the pinkish color. Yeah, I looks already. just like what Greg's been feeling, uh, yeah. feeding everybody. And the three I have. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the three you have. 
uh, and you also see a piece of paper on the bottom of the box. Piece of paper. Okay, uh, I will inspect the piece of paper. So it looks like a crudely drawn map uh, okay. that has, uh, you can see a little, like some little, uh, little like stick houses and people, okay. uh, roughly where you think that, that uh, Shadows Fall would be. Okay. Uh, then it's also got three X's on it, one of which is approximately in your location. Oh. Uh, and then if you turn the map, and then there's a then there's a large uh, then there's like a large star off to the east. Oh. Uh, and it's on the back. Uh, you see some goblin script. Um, I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll sort of call over to um, uh, Ellie and uh, Thorgold. Uh, hey, I can't read this, but I'm pretty sure these are their encampments like their scouting posts and then maybe their main place maybe their main village sure i'll come uh i'll come read it okay <laughs> if i can read goblin or okay so for those of you who can read goblin uh it says <clears throat> it says uh watch the newcomers uh set up around set up around their new village Watch the newcomers and keep them from venturing farther to the east. And then it's signed X. What? what okay. The, okay. I will relay that information. Uh, uh, and then on the map, you can see there is a... Uh, uh, it looks like if everything's to scale, there are, there are two, two, more, uh, two more X's approximately equi kind of equidistant from where you are now uh, to the town. So, like, to the north and to the southwest? Yeah, to the okay. north and to the southwest. Okay, so, like, X here. Somewhere in that area, I you see, may, there, there are okay. X's. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and then is... What was it about the star? Is it just kind of off to the east? like just? Uh, it is off to the east, generally. You can't tell how oh. far, but it's somewhere out to, out to the east of the X's. Okay. Well, boys, uh, I think we've got more goblins to get rid of, or we can cut the head off the dragon, you know, however you feel. I'd, I'd like to give my arrows a shot eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shot eight. Hold on. Give me a second, Lee. I bet you can salvage some arrows too. I mean, they had some, right? So, Lee, you get six back. Thank you. And also, since nobody else has mentioned it at this point, we'd like to loot the bodies. Sure. All right, Lee's looting yeah. the bodies. All right. So as you loot around the bodies, you're gonna find seventy-six copper pieces. 13 silver pieces, 8 gold pieces. How much silver was uh, it? Uh, uh, 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's let's divide this one up. Yeah. 8 gold. And as you're as you're looking at uh, the goblin goblin number 1, the one who who just shot the dog shit out of you. You see on his belt uh instead of the Instead of the standard goblin weapons, the horse chopper and the and the dog slicer that you see on the other goblins, uh, you see a short sword uh, that looks like it has some sort of plating on the edges. And as you examine it, you can tell it's been silvered. So you you've got a low grade silver short sword. Ooh, fancy. Oh. Can anybody? Uh, you that? also. You also find uh, two horse choppers, a, or one horse chopper, two dog slicers, um, four short bows, and an assortment of arrows. Uh, you notice that uh, about about seven of the arrows are actually long enough to use. And on the one goblin over here, goblin two, one of them looks like one of the arrows look like they've been coated in poison. So you find one uh, one arrow coated in centipede. Okay. Giant centipede venom. Um, so just to get it out of the way, everybody gets two, two gold, three silver, and nineteen copper. Two gold. Two gold. Two gold. Three silver. And nineteen copper. Great. 
And that's that's the money all divided up. So okay. All right, and there's also the the low grade short Two. sword, the potion John found, Two. and a uh, about six arrows and a giant centipede venom coated arrow. I I'm have gonna take three potions Duke. already. So if somebody wants this, uh, I'll know, take the potion. You'll take the hey, potion. I, I, okay. Yeah, I don't have any potions. Yeah, go ahead. It's just a minor healing juice. Is anybody else ranged? I mean, do you use arrows? Does anybody else have a bow or anything? I don't have a I bow. Do not. Bow, no. so. okay, no. All you. I'm going to take the, the arrows then. You got it. Um, is there anything of value in the crates? Uh, you you open the crates and you can see that there's some like some really shitty furs in them that, that look like maybe uh, an additional bed rolls. Uh, and they've got some some rancid meat inside that they look like they've been maybe cooking up to eat. Ugh. Um, I mean, I don't know that anybody needs the furs or anything, so they're, they're should, pretty tatty. Right. Somebody should grab the sword if nothing else to sell when we get back to town. I don't need it, but I mean, I can carry it if nobody wants to carry it. That's fine. Yeah, I can also. I can use it. I think technically, yeah. If Swords you are simple, right? Yeah, they're simple. Short Swords. sword. Short sword is simple. Yep. I think. Yeah. Silver, uh, low grade silver short sword. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah, we all have bed rolls and whatnot. I mean, it's midday, right? Yep. Um, I'm a little hurt. Um, I'm hurt. Right. I'm wondering if we should just like rest and try and like recoup our wounds, or if I should just like, you know, do a potion to get it over with. I I mean, I guess it's like where we do it next. Do we want to like just kind of do we want to take out the other encampments just to like kind of keep pressure off the town or do we want to just like cut the head off the you know just fucking go for it i think i lost him i, I lost him too. I, think, I, I didn't say anything after, okay. <laughs> after saying i think so I, I i said i think pause um no i, yeah, I think that maybe thought. yeah maybe we go back uh and just kind of give an update to the town and then rest. I, I guess it really just kind of depends. I can play it safe. I have, I have this potion I mean, of healing and I've got one more spell cast. I, so I, I can yeah. I can I can do it that way. I think so. going back, I mean, we at least know where the other camps are so we know which location that they would be more likely to get attacked from. So maybe we can help the town like set up some defenses in the general area of like where they might get attacked. You know what I mean? Like just kind of like prioritize like hey there's at least we know of at least these camps so we can like you know shore up defense at town and then decide what we want to do from there i i agree with that overall sentiment okay. yeah i'm fine with going back because i have six hp so. right <laughs> i've got, I've got, five. <laughs> I've got six. i'm feeling bad so yeah. okay you guys also, I didn't mention it earlier, talk about 6 HP, so you get something for that. You get 200 experience. Hell yes. Yo. So you guys should be sitting at 290. Mm -hmm. 290, smoke it. <laughs> I don't think that's how that goes, but we'll take it. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, so you guys, are you going to go ahead and start back toward, start back toward, toward town through the same route you went? Okay, makes sense to me. Um, so you guys, you guys get. Are you gonna push through the night? Or are you gonna camp? I mean, there's a bunk waiting for us. I don't know about you boys. What do you think? Through the night. Yeah, I think okay. we just go. Man, those are hot dice all around. Uh, you guys are. You guys, uh, come trudging back into camp, uh, broken, beaten, and bloody, and and for some of you. Uh, minorly paper cut for John. And it's a little hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's it's late, late uh, in the evening uh, when you get back, and you can see the patrol hails you on the way back in. 
uh, and it takes them a second, but they realize that, that here's some of the newcomers from the caravan uh, two days ago. Uh, so they, they let you back, they let you back in without any problems and say, what, you know, what have you been doing out there? Dying. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Dying every day. Dying every day. Uh, Getting wrecked. Uh, I, I, I think Sin will at least like go and tell them about like, you know, we found one goblin outpost with like a map that sort of shows the general location of the others. And sort of like relay that information to the guards so they can kind of like at least be aware of like, you know. So there's threats. there's four there's four guards in this patrol, and you see right. one one grizzled old man shake his head and and say, "I thought I got away from all this." Uh, and then the others turn white as ghosts. So clearly, they're a little bit fresher recruits um, and don't know what to do. They you know they they'd been volunteering for the guard, but uh, so far that hadn't meant anything. Is there is there no captain to the guard? Is it just kind of like a volunteer ragtag service? Are are you asking them? Yeah, like is there like who do you report to basically? Like is the, there the older man says that uh, the patrols the the patrols and local militia are are organized by Bannon, um, okay, being the most experienced among us. Um, I guess I'll. I'm going to head towards Bannon just to, like, relay this information to him so he can, like, make a, you know, the executive decision about what to do with the, you know. Yeah. Mm. Makes sense. Okay, so you get to the town, you get to the town hall, and it is, it is locked up tight. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to use Bofa and D's and pound on that fucking door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Middle of the night. A couple minutes later, an exhausted looking bandit opens the door and he says, I knew welcoming adventurers into this town would mean trouble. He says, Why this is why are you waking me up in the middle of the night? Right. Andes. I'm sorry for waking you up, but just to let you know, there are multiple gamp, uh, goblin encampments outside of the town, and sort of like showing the map. Even though he's, I know he's probably rubbing sleep from his eyes, but uh, just to relay the information to him, you know, to shore up the defenses. He says, he says, so you found them. I, we did. He says, I sus, I suspected there were more than just the more than just the few. Where there's one goblin, there's always more. He says, thank you for bringing this to me, even though it uh, hopefully could have waited till morning. No. He says, I'll, uh, he goes, I'll double, I'll make sure to double the patrols. Uh, and I, I expect that, I expect that among, among the other problems in town that you will, uh, you will look into these other encampments uh, and, and continue to keep us safe. I knew I was, I knew I was correct to count on you, uh, count on you by the, by the looks I saw in your eye two days ago. I'll just sort of uh, nod at him and, uh, you know, let him get back to bed. <laughs> he appreciates the gesture. Gives you the, the dude nod back. Mm -hmm. Do predator handshake. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> predator. Tiger stance. Yeah. <laughs> I enter tiger stance. <laughs> and tiger stance. And tiger stance. <laughs> I don't really know what it does, but I, I enjoy John saying it. Yeah. And Tiger Stance. Yeah, no idea what it actually does, but here we are. <laughs> it gives me a ten foot it... step. So and also if I crit, they take one D four persistent bleed damage until they See, get over now it. that's not nearly as cool as me not knowing what it did. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I just like Tiger Stance. Tiger yeah. Stance. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, there'll be other stances. <laughs> the okay. longer we go. I don't Monkey know stance. Crane stance. Please. All right. Does anybody else have anything else before we uh, turn in and try to naturally recover some hit points? I can oh. whip up one more uh, potion. All right, here we go. Be Look at that. Uh, so Lee, character recovers hit points normally con modifier times level. Yeah. So I would just get two. So. Uh. Con, con yeah. Times level. All right. Who's got yeah. the lowest? Is it Lee? Lee, for sure. Uh, <laughs> for sure. Lee. I got, I got uh, you get five more, more from my last potion. 
got one more spell cast, so I'll go ahead and just give everybody a 1d8. Ew, that's still a 2. We're not a good game. So, <laughs> I'm, here to throw, I'm here to throw fire. Uh, so right. everybody gets two more. I'm at 16 out of 20. Okay. Hey, Greg, how much did that potion you gave me give me? Five. I actually you rolled pretty five. well this okay. time, yeah. Okay. I'm back up to 13, and then I'll gain two more for my con modifier, so... Okay. Yeah. I have a, I have what, a was, what was the con dwarf? modifier? Mine's two. Oh, so you just get three? Or it's you just get times. the con modifier? Yeah, it's just the con modifier. It's times your level, right? So. Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually at full with two Cs, then. Alright, so... In the initiative tracker, beside your names, can I get a hit point total, like, X of X? Yeah. Just so we know where we're sitting for next time. Like, just actually type it in the same cell as your name. So, actually, oh. I, can, I can change the filters. It'll be fine. Oh, okay. I can just put a filter on all of them, all of them so they move. Uh... I'll just brew some extra healing potions this time. <laughs> I've still got healing potions, you know, I'm just... Yeah, but mine are basically free. I've just got some good okay. on 15, 15 to 22, 16 to 20, 18 of 18, and 10 of 17. Yeah. Is that right? All yeah. around? That is correct. Cool. All right, guys. Um, I think we've hit our time. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's going to rest for the night. We'll pick up there. Um, everybody should have 290 experience. We got a little bit of loot. We did some fighting. Oh, I should add that. <clears throat> um. Are we gonna go for Sunday or no? I'm um, okay too, but it's up to you guys. Yeah, I, I can do Sunday. Yeah. yeah. What time? Uh, Same. Earlier is better for me, but um, I, I can do evening if that's what. John, you're on the uh, you're on the earliest time zone. You call a start time. Uh, literally, I can just go whatever's comfortable with you. Like, if you need me to wake up, I can wake up. It's fine. Because I wake up at like six every day, so you know, just okay. let me know. You guys want to do uh, nine? That's seven, seven, seven ten, and eleven. That's fine. Yeah. Let me. All right. Me. Seven, nine, and seven, nine, and ten. Let's try that again. All right. So seven a.m. Yeah, for that. Sunday. Okay. Okay. That's how long we think in like CST. three hours or. Uh, how long do you guys want to go? I mean, I've got I've got material prepared that will probably take us. Uh, I can take us up to probably six hours. I can do whatever. Maybe more. Whatever. Yeah, I got it's up, flexible. It's up to you guys. Uh, I can I can also do whatever. Lee, you have the chitlins. Call the ball. Yep. Uh, I mean, if we start at nine, I probably need to bail. I probably got three hours before I can I can run away on a Sunday. Okay. And it's no guarantee there won't be kids yelling in the background, but they can yell. So sure. sure. Yeah. All right. So nine Literally. nine to noon. I'll be prepped. Uh, yeah. Everybody in the meantime, uh, get on roll twenty. Make an account. Okay. Okay. John's already got one. I've already got one. Uh, and I will invite you guys to the game. I think that's going to be easier in the long run. Probably. Yeah. For right now, tabletop simulator did fine. I'm just worried about uh, when we get into anything that's actually a dungeon. Where, where, like, you know, You're it right. matters what you can see. This fucking sucks. Right. You're yeah. Too in the ass. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll try roll twenty out when we have a little more time on Sunday, and uh, see if there's any growing pains with it. But I think we should be pretty simple. Yeah. Other than other than the map, we'll just keep doing things whatever we're doing. I think it's been working out well. I think so. All right. Well, hey guys, it was it was fun. Um, if you had any, you know, comments, drop them in the Discord, and we will go from there. Character sucks. That's my only comment. <laughs> my, my character doesn't throw hands like both of these. Both of these. <laughs> nah, it's just being a uh, being a sorcerer in a uh, outdoor in environment. Way, outdoor environment where my I, the way that I kit it is for AOE up close. Uh, eventually, yep. I'll actually get far away AOE damages. Should have just started a forest fire. Let them all burn yeah. down. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Burn, burn it all down. Burn it down. <laughs>
No kidding. As soon as we get into an encounter, just start a fire and run away. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that seems right. Yeah. Right? Just make it, make it so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, very yeah. good. Um, I will catch you guys on Sunday. If you need anything before then, let me know. Sounds right. good. See y'all later. Take it easy. Later.